Hey guys, and welcome to the Homegrown Podcast once more. Episode 3 is the episode, I don't know. Um, yeah. But we're here today with an old friend of mine, my bearded brother. Now, well, when you say old friend, what do you mean by that? I mean, you're old as fuck. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the answer I was looking for. Well, typically, I get called an old man. So it's, it's a nice change recently. I had Cow on, he's older than me. Now you're on, and you're older than me too. Pretty, I'm older than a lot of people, yeah. So it's, it's quite beneficial to have like, I think you're catching there's him, other, bro. There's other, there's, yeah. Look, I'm mm-hmm. not even the dad today. I'm not the dad on the podcast. I'm the actual dad. Yeah, he's the actual dad. <laughs> well, we'll touch on that later. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, we're here, we're just... No. <laughs> <laughs> we're here today, we're just... Uh, me and Lewis, name that again. He's not here. He's he, still, will, he will return. Still he will return. Got, still got So I'm basically, I'm basically joint still co-host at this point, yeah? One, one for me, one for Matt. Uh, in terms of being on a podcast, I'm basically co-host. We'll see how you go today. Yeah. We'll how you go we might give you a badge halfway through. You can have that. I, have I mean, you did, you, did, you did almost call him Dan in your video yesterday. I did call him Dan, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Because I had Dan in my head from something else that I was talking about before on like just, just talking to someone. And then, you know, when you get, you know, like when sometimes you're typing something and listening to music at the same time, you just start typing the song lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't an interesting situation like that. <laughs> like, I just called, called who, Dan? His name was. <laughs> he called Matt, Matt Dan. Oh, Matt nice. Dan. They're, they're both like really traditional, similar, yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Like a yeah, really traditional English basic. name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basic Dan, so, exactly. That's his Josh name now. a basic name though. Yeah. Is that the fourth most common name? Lewis is Lewis basic. No, I don't know that many Lewis's. I don't think it's that basic. Yeah. Nep's not really basic. Either. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what, 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 what is it? Nep, is it? Christian yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't drop know. it. Don't <laughs> drop it. <laughs> Isn't that number one name in the world, Mohammed, now? Is um, it actually? In the UK as well? Yeah, probably, yeah. In the UK as well? I think so. No. You know, I, I remember I saw it somewhere. Surely, surely so much, so much of the UK population must be, must be white. But I, I, I remember reading it in a paper, so I feel like it's probably a bias. Uh, was it in Danny Mail by any chance? I don't know. <laughs> buy the paper, it was just there. You know, like, well, you know yeah. your train, there's just a paper and you pick it up. Well, it's like a screenshot on Twitter of like some weird headline and you're like, yeah. This is the sickest irrelevant. game of uh, vocal tennis that I'm playing. It's just here. <laughs> it's just here. You're gonna watch, people are going to watch this podcast back and it's just going to be me doing this. And sound effects. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was speaking about this the other day weird our sound effects that come on tennis there's a video I, don't, I won't show you yet. if we had the laptop I could show you that we need, we need to bring the laptop we need Dan. in we need, yeah, we need, we need Dan, Dan. <laughs> yeah. basic Dan that's his name now the issue yeah. is though people are going to call him Dan I feel like you might, you <laughs> might set you might set like a meme that he's now just going to be called Dan he's going to come back and be like right Dan he'll be like is that who what uh, does he not watch podcast no <laughs> I don't know the one he hasn't been in uh, he probably has watched it he's not in he's the country quite... so I can't yeah fair enough anyway sorry we are with the daddy Nepenthes. Yeah. Yeah. Enough about that. Nepenthes. Or Nepenthes, as yes. once famously called by. It might have been Jimmy Conrad, or it could have been someone else. Nepenthes. Yeah, it was Jimmy Conrad. And then Jimmy. Rachel Burnett got it right. You should make a third channel as Nepenthes, as in Z double E, and just adopt that from now on, man. Why? Just make what? I could do some collabs with you. Yeah? yeah. How would that go? I feel, I feel what's going um, on. He's trying, to, he's trying to get himself into YouTube here. He's like, I'm on the podcast now. <laughs> hey, I might just start a YouTube channel. Yo, I've seen Jake Paul and that. We could do some Jake Paul Logan Paul I'd videos. Be down we for could that. start some beef. Listen, if we've got 500 million views a month. But, bro, I'm telling you now. I, actually, no, we should do our own channels because then we get like, you do know. Do you want to call him the Pen Z? Yeah, the Pen Z. For Nepenzi. a third channel? Yeah. Oh, I it's like three. It's near channels, three. It's near three. Nepenzi. Why don't you put like Nepenthes and put like a three for the E? Sharp, Josh. Well, so what I have right now is <laughs> Nepenthes with a two for the Z for my second one, because that's pretty. Nepen two. That's genius. Yeah, it's pretty wee, isn't it? Yeah, I copied yeah, Ethan. Ethan is Betwinger, opposed to Bezinger. Yeah, mm. I actually did copy Ethan. Did you ask me? That's literally where I got it from. <laughs> I was like, freezing, hey, that works. Freezy's second channel is called Cal Free to Y. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. You should have done like Cal Free to Y. Yeah, Free to. It's Cal Freezy, so you place the. Z or Rich 3 2. Take a Z with a 2. Rich 3 2 fell off quite quick, didn't he? I think he's. Is he doing all right? I don't still? really see him in the charts anymore. Not that I like follow the charts specifically, but. I think that music fell out of the charts quite quickly. Yeah. He's sick, though. He's, he's a lyrical dude. He's bringing people through as well. I think he's bringing through people like Avellino and people like that. You probably maybe don't know who Avellino is. He's sick, though. They, I'm sure I'll take your word for it. Ne- ne- hey, <laughs> on our channel, I'll we can talk about music. it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Great. Ne- 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 sorry, old school. I am very old school. Not so because old school. I'm old, it's because I like old music. Akala? Yeah. We haven't talked about this gonna... at all yet today. <laughs> Akala or uh, Kalashnikov or anything like that. We've definitely not spoken no, about not that. No, not at all. Not, not, not we may have had dinner before that we did this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I was hungry last time, so <laughs> I didn't want to sit a rumbling belly. Yeah, yeah no, that was me last time. Yeah. We, can, we can touch that straight away. Basically, doing a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> research, I was like, all right, oldest videos, expecting to see... I was thinking, okay, 
have you always done FIFA? Or I was like, oh, I don't really know. Like, it was li- ages ago you started. You've always done FIFA, I found out. But your very, very first video <laughs> was an amazing well, track. Well, thank and you, I'm, but I'm, I'm, no, it, that wasn't my first video. Actually, I, I deleted quite a lot of videos. I actually had a lot of gym videos and clubs videos from FIFA actually? 10. Yeah. Um, back yeah. then, I used to be heavy in the gym. Yeah. But now, not so much. I used to record it. It's like looking back, I'm glad I deleted it. It's <laughs> cringy as hell. So but... you <laughs> record it in the gym? Yeah. I like, want to see these. Like I want to see like these. Max lifts and stuff. Like, yeah, I thought about Max like. Lifts. <laughs> reacting to them well I, did, like, yes. I actually deleted them so when I started getting oh, into FIFA old my team yeah um, remember Ozzy from SA Sports Gaming mm. so he, he like guided me a lot back then and told me I should get rid of some of the real life stuff and um, just keep the FIFA stuff on there and me not knowing that I would become a YouTube sensation didn't think When's to keep <laughs> <laughs> didn't think to keep my old videos and Predicts instead of private in them deleted them so yeah fair enough yeah, yeah. Oh, I had to delete them to be fair I say that and I've done the same thing yeah so uh, I don't know um, yeah I wish so you, I wish so I you got rid of all the shit videos and kept that absolute gold yeah a couple of bangers on there yeah. bro that I'm not even gonna lie pretty decent for someone that doesn't rap like. He doesn't rap. He was rapping. I haven't seen. I haven't seen any rapping of you prior to that. I've never. I've never heard you rap. There's, at all. there's and then not I, much. And I see that. Stuff, I'm just like, yeah. this is actually pretty gold. <laughs> like, it's jokes. It, you sound just like a Carlo, and then your voice sounds just like a Lunacy or someone. Which one did you listen to? Because there's two there. It's the, the fir- very first it one. It's got like. Is it one that's got an like actual song? Is it got like, like skulls a skull as the picture, or for the picture? Two skulls or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with Savage. Yeah. 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 He's really. He actually made it like in the underground scene up in like Sheffield and not in that area. Yeah, he's very, he's got a good, good flow. He's yeah. got a nice flow. Where, where's he from? Uh, I think he's from up north, yeah. Like, like Bradford Manchester or, area yeah. or something like Where that. Where is yeah. up north? There, there, this, 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 up this north. is a great debate. Let's start this question. Where do you consider up north? North of what for Gap? I don't know. <laughs> you shouldn't comment yet. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Like Kings Lynn? Where's that? Where the fuck is Kings Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's like hang it's, on. It's, like, well, because well, it's called the Midlands, isn't it? So that wouldn't be up north because that's literally yeah. the Midlands. Yeah. So north of the Midlands, I'd say, was up north. Makes north sense. of Yorkshire. Yeah. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Yeah. Yorkshire. Get some tea. Because <laughs> I remember, like, we had, so, like, I remember I went to, like, uh, the book, book signing. No, it was, I uh, went to Manchester for a meet-up. Yeah, exactly. That's the guy. <laughs> and, just no. Was it a book signing or was it a meet-up? <laughs> How many thousand people? Oh, no, problem. No, and then it was, I remember saying, like, oh, like, yeah, like we're going up north, we're doing a meetup up north. Everyone's like, it's not north. Like, how dare you? Like, they get really <laughs> yeah. sensitive, yeah. I'm like, sure. well, for, for, for southerners or for Londoners, it's like, as soon as you're past, literally. <laughs> literally, Watford is, yeah. yeah, that's north yeah. then at that point, no. Yeah. If you, like, well, that if is you technically up north, isn't it? It yeah. is further north than you currently were. Yeah. yeah, it is up north, yeah. Yeah. If you live in the south, anything above you is north. Yeah. If, it, if it's not a southern accent, it's north. You're northern. Well, twice, this this twice. for me is actually technically up north now because I'm from Bournemouth. So, <laughs> I mean, this is you know you're not from Bournemouth. Well, I live in Bournemouth, so for me to come to London, I've had to come up north. Yeah, you're, you're unearthing with these worms. <laughs> I want to open later. To us though, you're northern. Where you where you're from? Where are you from? Essex, I'm actually right? from South London. Oh, sh- <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't worry about South London. You're actually from Croydon. Oh, that's mega <laughs> South London. <laughs> South Croydon was a meme this week Dead on man. Twitter. Did you see oh, it? was it? No. It was like yeah. Everyone in North London was giving Croydon shit like it's like they're making memes about saying like it's London but it's so south. Like as in like you know like you have to get a proper train out. You can't yeah, get, like, yeah. They got trams. They have got trams. Yeah, they have got trams. Yeah, yeah, so like, trams yeah. It's like the Middle Ages. They're like it's so it's so far south. It's like they got trams. Yeah, no tubes. There's no tubes anywhere in south. Even, well, like, we we only had buses up until I was about fifteen, and mm. trams came when I was about fifteen, which was great because then I was able to get to college really easy. But yeah, we had we had buses. So and I had to get buses into London. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> all that. Croydon, Croydon, right. Croydon is just in the past by the sounds of it. Yeah, one of them. Let's not offend the whole Croydon, please. <laughs> Cro- Croydon is just a horrific area, honestly. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's an absolute dive. Is I it... went there to work one time and I wanted to get out of there as soon as my shift was done. I was you, like, you could just feel the aura out. of. of you, like, there, there are yeah. places like that, though. Yeah. Like, you, don't, you just feel uh, like unease. Yeah, that's exactly feel, what yeah, Croydon's like. You don't yeah. feel at ease anyway. It was, it was, like, I was quite surprised. We went there for uh, like a Tesco mobile thing. Like a little just shoot in, oh, in yeah, Croydon that. town centre. Was it not Bromley? No, it was, oh, it, was Bromley. It, was in, it was in Croydon, and like I was expecting, like, oh god, like it's gonna be a bit of a rough one today. Yeah, just because you know, like typically the fans that you get like in certain areas are like even nicer, like, ruder, or yeah, so when, I have side men. Yes, yeah, so when you get into like a ruder area, you get a bit more of like uh, that kind of mentality towards you, opposed to being like, oh hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, yeah, and it was fine. Everyone was like really nice. So I was like pleasantly surprised. I didn't feel no negativity there. 
We're, we're not all bad from Croydon. <laughs> so you, if you had carried on, you could have been rolling with Stormzy in that. I used to know a guy, well, a guy used to work for me. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Um, that actually grew up with, uh, I don't want to say Stormzy, but definitely Someone some, like, yeah. Who, who else used to, like, rolls with Jamie, that, that, that group? But, like, from ja- Croydon? Jamie's from yeah, North. From, or, or from, not from Croydon, from, Crips, like, uh, Conan, North London. Like, up in North London? Yeah. There's many. Yeah. Like, I, we could, I could list off. Well, we yeah. could be here all day. Boss the 10th Birdie, is a big rapper. President yeah. T, yeah. Big H. I don't know. They were way better than they were affiliated, didn't they? Frisco. Yeah, Frisco. I can't remember the name of it. But he, he used to, like, just hang with them every weekend. So I used to meet all those. They always used to come to the pub all the time. That's another, another worm you're unearthing. You know, <laughs> all these, <laughs> he's like, he's like just a spoiler. He's, with, he's like JJ. He gives out all the secrets before anyone gets there. Are they all the questions? Yeah. Well, not the que- About my, uh, my ruining the podcast. It's like I've got a topic from my research, from my topics in my head. Hang on there. I, I don't, I've known Nep a long time, so I know a lot about Nep. You knew about this, about people from North London knowing? No, 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 no. The, the, it's the, uh, the, the latter word that he used. Oh, okay. The same. All right. Which is pub. I'm talking about Battlegrounds. PUBG, yeah. Big fan of the game, love it. Is that, that's sarcasm, right? No, 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 I actually really do like it. (laughs) (laughs) I don't see that on your channel. I stream it. Oh, okay. That's quite, yeah, that's quite interesting, the fact that there's probably games that you've played quite a lot over the years that you've never even featured on your channels. Mostly Diablo, yeah. I've racked thousands of hours into Diablo without putting on anything. Because I like, like, that's, I'm like the complete opposite of throughout YouTube. Everything goes on your channel. Yeah, you, like, whatever yeah, you're into. Don't, don't, don't you get to a point though where you just want to actually engage with a game to enjoy it rather than it's, thinking, okay, how do I have to present myself? For sure. It's quite a, a sad reality that I realised not long ago that there's no games that I've casually played and enjoyed yeah. for the for the longest time. Like, you have JJ loves Overwatch. You have uh, Vic who loves Battlegrounds. Red Dead, Red Dead. <laughs> that's me. You love Red Is Dead. Is that why you're called Redman? No. That's Is that because you like Redman? Yeah. Uh, no, like in that either. No, I'm just a bit. I'm a bit of a nerd inside I think I like history and stuff so yeah no, I used to watch westerns all the time so when it comes to I, I got a GTA version of like a western version of GTA and I was just like yeah this so what is does Red, Red Man mean? that's my second name man that's, that, yeah, that's actually Legit- true your name is actually Red Man yeah my second name is Red Man that's brilliant well Red Man but that yeah Red brilliant Man. yeah, yeah thanks <laughs> I'll take that. I always just thought it was like it's some kind of like, like I don't know euphemism or like acronym or no, AKA man. or no, no, yeah, no, Channel that's my second name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. his rap name back in the day when we used to like. No, you can't say that because there's already a red man, and if I'm naming myself Red Man, I've got to live up to his standards, and you can't live up to his. I'll standards. give you some tips. That's fine. Thank. I tell you what, <laughs> if you give me that flow, I'll, I'll think I'm good. I could be Red Man. Yeah, you know what I mean. That I actually don't flow. really like Red Man, but no, no. Method Man. Love Method Man. Yeah, he, I've got to say Method Man is probably better. Yeah, I, I actually didn't enjoy the Blackout album at all. Really? Which was a, like, I don't know if you know the Red Man no, no, no. album. That, the album they did together just didn't like the black, didn't like it at all because just don't like Red Man. No, but I like Red Man. So thanks. No. I like you too. Mate. <laughs> we'll give you that badge in a bit. Yes, we'll give you that badge. <laughs> As a badge? Damn yeah, out. the the, the co host badge. Well, the, uh, were we not rolling for that? We were just talking about giving Nep a co host badge. <laughs> was, was that in the podcast? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember a badge being explicitly mentioned. I did. I was like, because I was thinking he he's, got, it, he's got badge that side. We'll give him one for that side. There you go. That'd be good. I hope it thanks for that. It's like a sheriff badge, Red Dead sh- kind of style stuff coming in there. This, he's getting too excited about Red Dead Redemption. Anyway, oh, sorry, yeah. games oh, yeah. I yeah, you play. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, was, yeah. I was talking and then JJ, he's like, yeah. Red Dead Redemption. Is he really excited? I, I, it's, it's as a shoot em up, isn't it? It's just like um, a GTA, but Western. It's, yeah, it's a sandbox, yeah, I'd, but I'd Western. Not a big fan of that. It's, it's a big fan of GTA ever. It's amazing. I used to love GTA, specifically the Bird's Eye View GTA. GTA 3 or something. GTA London. Was it GTA 2 or something? 1 and 2. Yeah. But now, like, gaming's gone such a different direction that single-player story modes just don't really interest me unless I'm watching someone play them because I like the interaction mm. with the person that's playing them. That's interesting. And GTA Online is just an abomination, isn't it? It's just oh, horrible. You, play, you were actually in a GTA video about once. Yeah, I was, yeah. And then the comments went to an interesting place. Just because <laughs> it was like, they, they got, they get, sometimes they get quite protective over the fact that we're playing with someone who's not in the side. Oh, so oh okay. I'm, I'm basically an original side man, though, I'd say. But they're cool with Jamie being in your world. videos. They were cool with Jamie being in GTA, weren't they? Yeah. Ooh. I'd, I'd, I'm I'd, sorry, bro, you can't spit like Jamie. I don't know, man. I, 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 can, I can spit his songs pretty good. His, yeah. His, his raps, his... Got the lyrics on there. It's quite interesting. I feel like most people who would ever... There are probably a lot of people who have watched your channel who have no idea about that. I mean, you've mentioned it before to, on your videos, I know, but like, that you can rap. I get asked to re-release them, but... 
it, it's not something that I would pursue Currently. generally. So that it will kind of be like, wow, that was good or holy crap, that's really bad. We want to hear more. I can't, I've got no time to give you more. So that would all it would be. So and, until there was like a spot in my life where I could actually pursue music again, there's no point what have you, o- like opening that can. What if you use that potential talent to make little parody songs about FIFA coins? Who am I to wait back? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Man, fire shots, fire that's shots. That's not a shot, sorry. Shot. No, 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 no. <laughs> you should fire shots. That's where <laughs> that's the where YouTube stems, user are at yeah. right now. Well, there you go. Fire some shots, bro. No, I'm not, I'm not about that life go some anymore, but yeah. Nah. Yeah. Oh, he's he's savage on Twitter. Twitter. Road. Remember savage Anto on. Holland? Oh. Okay. Anto Holland? <laughs> oh. I, why do I recognise that, that name? And he's a YouTuber. Was he a FIFA YouTuber? He used to be a FIFA YouTuber, yeah. Yeah, I thought I Greatest it. tutorials in the game, honestly. Long yes. shot tutorial, press B. Did you have to do all the... Yeah. Bang, yeah. yeah. That did become quite, quite a meme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't really think I really spoke to him that much. He actually messaged, I, I, funnily enough, like, uh, I, I don't know, should he watch this, but he messaged me um, on Skype maybe a year ago because I was talking about him on Twitter, j- just in like this, like, very, like, just in jest, not out of spite yeah. or anything. Like, you know, I hope the guy's living a good life. And he, he just messaged me asking me to um, not talk about him really because he's, like, moved on from the whole scene yeah. and he, like, doesn't see it. So if he does see this, I apologise for bringing you up again. It was... Just, <laughs> just, just <laughs> take his advice. <laughs> it was just, a, it was just a prank. It was a social experiment to see uh, if you watch the podcast, really. So, you, yeah, you're gonna get some dog do through your door now. So. <laughs> Stop mentioning my name on YouTube. <laughs> dog do. Yeah, man. Some deuces, yeah, the, the last game deuces. I actually back to that point. The last game I actually really played would be Modern Warfare Two, which is the game that I like. Kind of like blew up on YouTube. Yeah. And I don't think it's been a game. I mean, the GTA has been a game that I've done like a thousand videos on. There's, there's no games like because I mean like, you have games that people don't even know you play and yeah. like, like, well, like I mean like you, maybe you tweet about it yeah stuff, I tweet about but it but like yeah. you, there's no sign on your channels if someone doesn't follow yeah. you on social media wise and all they watch it, all they know of you is your channels they don't use Twitter or Instagram there's a lot of people that do that without you realising they have no idea you play those games that could be a whole new audience for you could be but that the Diablo scene's not really that big oh well, we've already got th- actually I've already got the third channel locked down with Simon so doing those oh, stories God. remember oh my god yeah, yeah. one time at Bandcamp stories with Bateson Simon's going to animate them it'll be brilliant <laughs> this is like <laughs> was this some drug discussion <laughs> yeah. one time. So much, yeah. just have like stupid discussions about stupid stories we're gonna, uh, uh, stupid channels we're going to open oh, yeah. right, cool one of them will eventually happen and it will take off and yeah. we'll be looking back saying, why didn't we do that like three years earlier? We'll, we'll, we'll be the new, uh, the new pools. New pools. Yeah. Hey man, as long as you enjoy it, I'm sure it'll get views. Because people will see you're enjoying it. They're like, this is jokes. This is funny. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that, that one was a bit of an interesting one. It's just like stories. What you, the main concept of the channel was like... Literally just talking about the most ridiculous story you could ever just string along from start to finish and then having it animated. I mean, as the perhaps is a G. Wait, I did... Th- I've it, done this in a video. Have you? You stole my idea, did you? But it never made it somewhere. Did, so, so wait, you didn't upload it? it? You didn't upload it? <laughs> no, it was filmed with someone else and I can't talk about it. So, anyway. What were we talking about? What, what was <laughs> Do you remember, like, oh shit, I filmed that. I can't say that. No. Oh. No, I don't I, know. I, I, am I supposed to be in on this joke? Am I supposed to actually know <laughs> no. what you're talking no, about? No, I don't. Because okay, I, I don't. I don't know what he's talking about. So, like, if you ever filmed or, like, you done something for a company and you can't say you've done that because it didn't go through oh no I don't really get company work so damn damn yeah. <laughs> it's the FIFA scene man it's brutal it's brutal yeah no I wouldn't talk about it actually like your whole channel well yeah primarily but actually both of your channels really <laughs> yeah. are just his whole YouTube career yeah, is what you need to focus FIFA. on like yeah. you are a ho- like hardcore FIFA player and not not just in the sense you've been doing it for a very long time Listen, we've got to stop but, with the old man, old friend, long time. No, thing. no. Like, it's, you, you're putting a, pushing a narrative that I'm no, literally no, like no, some no. granddad. I don't know if this is all right. <laughs> no. All I'm saying is, welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> this is my daily life. <laughs> You've been doing this probably as long as, uh, yeah, probably as long as Josh now, probably. Uh, I'd say a little bit shorter than Josh, but yeah. Yeah, so does that mean so that? there you go. It's I not, still get it in front of me. What, five years? <laughs> oh, I've been doing it eight much longer than five years. Was it eight years? I'm eight, yeah. I'm, I'm, so like six, seven years? I'm eight now, yeah. Yeah, so you've been doing FIFA... As that's your thing for that long, and some people do FIFA videos as in they'll do just pack openings or it's like fun stuff that they'll build some teams and just piss about. But recently, a lot of your videos have been like 
about um, weekend league and stuff like that, and comp- more competitive. It seems to go- have gone slightly more competitive. FIFA is trying to go more competitive, yeah, because the whole scene seems to have, have done that a lot more over the past year or two. Yeah, it has like, absolutely shifted this year, but the game's not good enough to be competitive. So that's exactly another thing I want to talk about. Is like you seen you obviously you play so much FIFA. What, what do you think needs to change about the game for it to be able to? compete in terms of like well, um, competitive there's a few fundamental errors with the fact that if you play League of Legends or no, Overwatch yeah, or yeah. Rocket League yeah, 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 like in those games you have a breakdown of everything exactly how it works and exactly how it interacts in its own environment with FIFA you have no idea what different things mean it's and how they interact yeah essentially like a lot of RNG in FIFA but the main reason why it won't ever stand up as an esport is because it is primarily AI controlled you know 22 players on the field I'm controlling one you're controlling one that's it there's 20 AI controlled players Mm -hmm. in Overwatch is there anything AI in Overwatch are there any minions or anything so in League of Legends there's a few AI like minions or bots or whatever but um, yeah generally speaking other competitive games is my skill versus your skill yeah. and no environmental interaction but in mm. FIFA it's me against you and against the A and that's, it's just it's just impossible to be taken seriously at a high standard game when the AI controls the majority of it I think I don't think I, I see what I know exactly what you're, what you're saying I think that and I, that's, the, that's the rage that I experience with FIFA is that <laughs> and I do rage at FIFA I, wanna, as well. touch, I rage at like FIFA the most like happy person <laughs> And we sit there like we sit there. What, and five games deep? I mean, two games, I'm good. Three games, oh. And if I keep losing, it's, it's like five you games hear deep. Him swearing downstairs <laughs> like mega loud. I'm like, You're right, not there. anymore. This was like this was like, this was ages yeah. ago. I don't really touch FIFA now, but I do feel like it would be very beneficial for FIFA as a, as a game if they have almost like um, <laughs> I guess a stripped down hardcore mode of FIFA in that every stat that they have is true. There's not a lottery as to whether they can control it badly. But, like, I, I, I don't disagree, but it's, it's so hard because of how the game is. Because if, like, at what, at what point do the stats interact? Because if I've got an attacker with 99 shooting, but you've got one of the best goalkeepers in the game, which, whose stat takes precedent? Mm. What works better, yeah. It, yeah, like, uh, yeah. What, do you know what I mean? Like, I expect to score all the shots because I've got 99 shooting, yeah. but you expect your keeper to make the save because he's the best keeper in the, in the game. Unless I, you're I, manually yeah. controlling how you're shooting and you're manually controlling how yeah. you're saving. Yeah. That's, that's what I was going to say. Gonna... That's what I was going to say. So everything is, everything is as the stats say, but the controls are a lot more manual. So you have to get it bottom Precisely, corner yeah. for it to go in so the problem so with man, the problem with the manual is back in I think FIFA 14 some guy who was like just an incredible player and played on fully manual he put together a compilation of proving that he's playing on manual and still proving that where he's pointing the ball's okay. still not going or like he'd jump up to head the ball and the ball would phase through his player's head so the defender still won the ball you know what I mean like yeah, even, so even scripting he's trying to prove he's not necessarily he's not trying to prove scripting per se, but he's trying to show that that manual is still not actually manual. You're still not in full control. It's like a semi-automatic automatic car. Yeah. Yeah. But do you not think as a concept, if they make it so that those sorts of instances don't happen? But even then, more specifically with shooting and conceding, the goalkeepers will always have to be AI controlled because you you, you just can't control a goalkeeper, right? So again, at what point does the AI goalkeeper beat the manual attacker like because like like if 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 you got to a point where you knew every time you shot it was a goal the game would just become dull and boring because it would be it wouldn't be a game of skill it would be a game of trying to manipulate yourself into a position where you know you're going to score and there's no real skill in that you know like like what games do you play battlefield more so all right so if you play battlefield a lot imagine if you stood in a certain point of a field with a sniper all the time, and you knew that no one else could see you, but you could just get headshots for days. Head glitching. Right, essentially head glitching. At what, yeah. at what yeah. point would that just become boring if you could just never be killed and just sit there? Poof, poof, that's no skill at that point. Uh, yeah. It's like glitching into all ends on. To an extent, but when you can both do that, I feel like it's a different game. Like, I don't know. Well, it'll, be, it'll be like 84, 82 is the final score. Yeah. The, issue, the issue with it all as well is that they, as a game, you still got to make it as a game that re- emulates football. And yeah, football that's, that's the most idea. Of course, of course. Yeah. But it's, what it's I'm saying is this is, a, this is a game, this is competitive, this is directed at competitive gameplay. 
normal gameplay online is I think it's just a hard is, thing to is, recreate. is as it is. But you can search for if you if you people get, I get pissed off of it. I'm like, when would a player ever do that fixed emotion to reach a ball that is right next to him? Oh, and misses it. Yeah, so the thing, things like that, that they need to be so addressed. Much. Yeah, that, that sort of stuff needs to be addressed. And and that, that goes hand in hand with a lot of what people think is scripting because it's like there are there are instances where if my player does lunge for the ball, he will get it, but he doesn't. And then if he does lunge for the ball, oh sorry, if he doesn't lunge for the ball, he'll get it, but then he lunges. And it's like, wait, it's almost like they've got the interactions backwards Reversed, and yeah, yeah, like and, and yeah, there, I mean there's there's a lot of problems in the game. Like I say, it's, it's primarily AI controlled. You can only control one player at a time. The better players are the, ga the guys that understand the game mechanics and, and are able to manipulate the game to their favor. The better players are the guys that play the most and have quick reactions and are able to like see one step ahead. What's gonna happen, yeah, yeah. The, the best players aren't those that have the best teams <clears throat> or the best like, you know, cards in the game, yeah. which is, I don't know, but it, but it has its pros and its cons both ways. But. I think that's the fundamental reason as to why, it, in my head, why it doesn't succeed as a, a sports game yet. Yeah, I think mine is on an entertainment supporter, like a, like a viewer, spectator game. Like it, I, I've like as much as it's been good this year, they pushed that, they pushed that direction. As a spectator sport or e sport for me, it's like when I watch it, I'm like, this is very dull, because, say, like you have one versus one, they won't talk to each other. Mm. Because you have to be in this like the, the mind state of like it's like chess. It's like I'm watching chess, but chess you can read the game it better. Where like it always felt that one v one is always like they're always quiet and it's like okay get my towel, me dry my hands. All right, cool, that's a good game. Nice playing you. It feels like a really like shy. It it needs to be more Americanized. Yeah. It needs to be like glorified and celebrated. And it's like well, like this ain't going on. It needs to be action yeah. based because like even the gameplay. Typically, people play like say me and Lewis play. Putting me a fast game, tackles flying everywhere, and like shots happening. I might, I might get somewhere in the pitch and go. Yeah, I might shoot. It's a good chance I could score here. Where when they play, it's can't give up the ball here because there's a risk. If I give the ball to him, it's percentage based. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's hold on to the ball, wait until my chance arrives and take it. So like when we did the Kick TV tournament in 2014 yeah. in New York, we had oh, I the this, yeah. so the, we had we had a guy called Notorious who won the cup, um, and. He like he had won a tournament to get to play in the tournament of YouTubers, so he was essentially like a pro who played at that point. Yeah, and he was a very good player. Yeah, um, and it was like it ended up being like all the YouTubers can, like tr was trying to beat him <laughs> because it was like screw this guy <laughs> yeah. because ultimately it was like he was sitting and taking it very seriously. Yeah, like, yeah and you but, guys were which, which I literally I, to this day I don't blame him for it because he's there and it was like it's but there was, there was money for all of us yeah. back then. There was decent money on the line. It was like I want to win this game. Yeah, and. For him, he had won a tournament to get there. He's worked hard to get there, and he's been well, training I mean, on this game. He didn't win the tournament to get there, actually. Did not? I think he came second, and the guy who won either couldn't go or got kicked out. It's very fortunate for him. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless of but that. he got there, yeah. yeah. There's <laughs> a certain level of disrespect, though, if I recall correctly. Well, no, no, so that's in the, it, on both parties, though, and, and I think that came initially from him because he was very cold-shouldered towards all the YouTubers. Like, he wouldn't yeah. practice got, against a YouTuber yeah. like because oh, like he's oh, yeah. in that pro scene. He's in that pro mind of, like, oh, if he's going to play me, and he did play me, he wouldn't practice against me because he's like, oh no, you're going to learn how I play. I'm not good enough at FIFA to give a shit how you play. Like, I just, I just want to practice some games. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't do that. And you know, when we went out to lunch, he'd just disappear on his own. And like, you know, he just, he just wasn't he just, very. He, he wasn't inclusive. Yeah, of that. he, he wasn't integrated yeah. at all. He wasn't he joining did, in which the, is, which in is the is jokes it, probably you, yeah. were, you having and whatever which else. Like. It's not really an issue. It's just like, to him as that's him as a person. Yeah, and he was in a pro mindset, and we was all in YouTube mindset. So it's like, yeah, it happens. But yeah, the point being is that, so he. If you compare all our games, us versus him, they're like they're very dull games. Me and they him played the game, boring, yeah. and I, I like I played him at his own game, and so for me to play him at his own game, the gameplay was, I'm going to pass it around very slowly. I'm not going to make mistakes, and I'll wait mm. for opportunity. Mm. We drew nil nil, and I had one chance in the whole game. He didn't have a chance. That was it. That was the whole game. There was nothing to it. Mm. And that's but not as a spectator sport. It wasn't. It wasn't in, yeah. like. It was only it was interesting for us a lot. Like for everyone behind, it was always super tense. Oh my god! Like <laughs> Josh, but I beg you, beat him, Josh. Just beat him. <laughs> That's because it mattered to them. But yeah, to spectators, yeah. it doesn't matter. If you watch the video yeah. now, it's on YouTube still. Yeah. It's a dull as hell game. Yeah. Nothing happens, and it's just boring. And out of all the other esports, like even if you watch Battlefield streamers, it's just action, constant action. Like Overwatch, constant action. Rocket, yeah. shit, Rocket, 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 Rocket League, League competitive constant is action. insane to watch. Rocket they, League, is like, crazy. Like, oh, the skill is insane. Because the skill yeah. gap between yeah. on the roof and all sorts. Yeah, the skill yeah. gap. Yeah. That's different as well. Like FIFA, you watch. There's no, you can't really see a skill gap as much. Yeah. It's not a visible skill gap. It's you, you only notice how good a pro player is when you play them. If you, 
watch like someone like hashtag Harry or someone yeah, play. Like, oh, I could do that. Yeah, you're like, oh, I could do that. Like, you just play to scoring a goal. I can score that goal too. But then you play him and then you realise, oh, wait, that's where yeah. the difference is. Mm-hmm. But when you watch like Rocket League, entry level to Rocket League, you are, you play and you really are terrible. <laughs> yeah. And you will play that game for hundreds and hundreds of hours and you will still not achieve a level that they're at. It takes like God knows how long. Like we've played it for God knows how long and I'm still terrible. Yeah, I'm I've got a lot better. Yeah. I can fly in the air a little bit more. But these guys were like, they just know their car. Their car is basically their human body. Eventually. Yeah. They just go, right, so jump up, flip, 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 and go. You know exactly and where they're they going to land. They pass in the air. much boost and all the rest of it. And, yeah. that's, and that's so exciting to watch because you're like, I just could never do that. Yeah. And same so, way. So, same with League of Legends. It's like mad exciting and a high skill level. And you can, you can, even in the early stages of League of Legends games where it's generally quite slower, there's still like pockets of insane intense drama you know what I mean yeah. like, and you just you just don't get that in FIFA even the goals in FIFA competitive level are just cutbacks yeah they're, they're, they're yeah. not even like they're going to see a long range goal in yeah. like I mean maybe there has been one that's the thing I'd if, if a long you could add, add some sort of skill level to people scoring long range goals then it would be entertaining that's what I was trying to say if you could there could be yeah, some sort add, if, it, you if it's manual shooting where you get it to the top corner people practice this and they they hit the top corner ninety percent of the time. But that's the, a skill level. Thing. I, I think. I think that's the point where the game becomes a simulator or something. Different. Yeah, boring. Because if you get to that same, like in Rocket League, it's very, very difficult to get into a position to score a goal. But if in FIFA, because of how linear the game is, it's very, very easy to get into a, the same position over and over and over again to score that goal. So, like I said, like with the <clears throat> man standing battlefield metaphor, if you could just run to a hill and then you've got the lay of the land and you can't get shot. Eventually, you just get tired and bored of it. It was just, I, I think I remember watching a COD video before actually where the spawn spawn trapping was there and the guy was literally just up a ladder and was just getting hundreds of kills. <laughs> yeah. Just bang, 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 bang. Like, in, in the slapper days, I used yeah. to do the same thing. I'd manipulate the game knowing that, okay, so if, if all my team are here, I mean, it went to this out, when snipers you try and get clips, if, like there's ways of you could do it. So I could say, okay, I'm in a team of five of my friends. We know, we've, we've played this game enough to know where the spawns are. So if you five on that side of the map, I'm the only one here, me, one person will not affect those six. So they're yeah. gonna carry on spawning at this point. So I know if I stand here on my own and them te- that I'm not just blocking anyone going that way, yeah. I can stay here just as long as, I, long as I'm accurate, yeah. I have a chance of getting a clip here because they're gonna keep running out of that same area. And, that, and that's the same thing, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's just, like, that's the thing, you can look at the HUD and see where your team are and the empty space is where they're gonna spawn. So you know exactly where they're gonna spawn. It's mm. just that sort of. But yeah, but there used to be glitches. You could just sit there and they, they just walk. That is, there's certain spots on. They got you get patched. Was this in Modern Warfare 2? On all of the cards. There's certain spots where you could literally. I could aim down, aim a wall, and I carry on shooting you. And you'd spawn. And then and you'd, you'd spawn, die, and then you'd die. And yeah. you'd spawn. And, and you it, couldn't stop that. Yeah. The only way to stop it is just to leave. <laughs> like, yeah. Is that COD 4 days? In COD 4, you can do that. I could, I could, I could still do you that now with someone. Or, on you could COD shoot through the crates in there. Yeah, on COD 4, if you did like 1v1. Yeah, oh, and okay. I, could, I could do it still. I would where, rage so hard. Like, you, you spin. So you go shoot there. there Chopper. There, 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 there. And you just go around the circle. Bro, and, and there's nothing you can do no. as a person. And that's why I you don't can. think it. There is one thing, but kids never do it because. Oh, say I would say, I would say kids. It sounds like. But like, people never do it because you're raging so much. The rage inducing things happen. So you're a spawn die. Spawn die. What you do is you just wait. You pause, like you don't respawn instantly. Yeah. Because I'm there, wait, I'm there, and I'll shoot thinking you spawned. I miss. Oh, where'd you spawn then? Yeah. And that's when that's what people just throw people off. It's mind games. Yeah. That's pretty clever. But no, yeah, everyone, like, everyone, ah, it's just like, back in the game. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, just spamming A. You're yeah. just so annoyed at that. But yeah, I think like, for me actually, yeah, so then, because I always think that FIFA hasn't made it yet because it's just not intended to watch. And that's why I gave example Notorious because it's just like, that tournament, I feel like, wasn't very good in that sense. Yeah, and and did have some entertaining times. The notorious for Cal Freezy match was pretty good. Was that where was everyone sweat, like shouting? <laughs> I, felt, I feel bad for him though. He was shouting at Started me. making chants and stuff. And stuff. Not his headphones. Yes. They were his pussy plugs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, people, yeah, like people in the background was like, like listening to songs about chanting them. about his pussy, pussy plugs. plugs yeah. in his ears. Oh wow. <laughs> But yeah, it's, that's really bad, really. The whole thing's really yeah. bad. It was like bullying. Jesus. Um, but yeah, so then I, I think a lot of us in our group have always said that, especially like me, Toby, um, Shifty, JJ, always been, we've always been huge clubs players. Yeah. Like FIFA, 09, 10, 11, like just clubs or whatever I ever played. Like that's how I, I think that's how I even got good at FIFA really, because I never really played on my team that much. I've never really been that into on my team. Not to the extent of like how you just say you are, like where you like, you'd know a lot about the game yeah. inside out. The club's always my thing that I just did, and that's how I feel like I got good at the game. But I feel like that's always been the one sector of the game they've never really at least tried. 
yeah. to, to push. Like, okay, like in FIFA, well, I, don't, I think it's like FIFA 09 was as cl- clubs was as essentially online team play. You yeah, played as team, yeah, yeah. a team. But I mean, all the players were the same rating, weren't they? Yeah, so 85 it was rating. So we should play a war or someone. Or you play someone with like uh, all tool team. Yeah. Because they were at 85 rating, so they'd be more physical. Um, but then they changed it to obviously like the, the virtual pro one, which is a big step. And I was like, this is, this is the future. This is where it's all going to go. <laughs> and then since then, I think for the past six years, it's been the same. Well, I think didn't, either mm. this year or last year, they changed the way the experience grows the player. So now yeah, it's based on like how well you play in the game to try and encourage people in dropping matches to play, to play effectively. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was more to affect that dropping match as opposed to actually yeah, like clubs. The, yeah. But like we always said, like even the whole club experience would be changed to the point of Ultimate Team. You could have everything. Like you could yeah. earn coins. You could to buy cards. packs yeah. to the club. You could buy. Yeah. You, you earn coins and buy packs as a club. You get uh, kits. You get customizable stuff. Even players. Customize kit One badges. of the worst things about clubs is playing with the AI players because they're horrendous. Imagine being able to eventually earn get a packs player. and yeah. you know instead of having that randy AI. you Put Kyle Walker in there, so yeah. because playing any is the worst thing in clubs. So if you've actually got the decent usable, oh really? I hate. So basically, any, you'd have like your own Alex Hunter, essentially. No, yeah. like, no, like you could. As in you like would you, be your Alex you, Hunter. You, you are already your virtual pro. Yeah, as yeah. Always. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what but I'm you saying. You could but also add someone. So your AIs could yeah. be real life players. You yeah, could, yeah. Like, unlock them over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, like it's always been like division. So you went when you're yeah. division one, everyone's got like good teams yeah. and the virtual pros. Mm. But I think there's so much more there anyway. Like even just with. Because they, they, for like EA said they want to make money off of microtransactions, that's why they focus on Ultimate Team anyway. Yeah, there's so much microtransactions they can add into clubs. So it's, much. It's, yeah, it's definitely more yeah. than Ultimate Team. Yeah, definitely. I'd say so. Yeah, and I, and I feel like once once it get once that open that tin of worms, it's like this it carries on. Like there's so yeah. many more things you could do. I'd sit there and pay money to have like if that's boosting your player a little yeah. bit more to get it quicker. Or even like game, you, game to get or like you know how do I have attribute cards in Ultimate Team? Just have like a. 24 hour boost so 50 yeah, yeah. FIFA points you get plus 5 on all your attributes for 24 hours people I, I'd buy that all the time but like, I think like imagine that bare bones like so you start off with some circle badge re- or crest badge really boring you get one colour to choose from like so you pick your team's colour and that team that, that colour you pick for your badge is now your colour's kit so like mm. her orange okay now I've got an orange kit it's plain and then as a club you can work your way up so you get a big like you can buy you earn coins and you buy packs that earns you stadiums, that earns you like, whether that be like a flair on your players, whether that earns you like skill, any skill sets. Boots. You can boots, yeah. anything, kits. Yeah. You can add that sponsorship for your team. If, if they can't get the license in, then they can just do. Make their own like, sponsors up, like yeah. EA Sports sponsorship, yeah. uh, things like that. Yeah. They can put YouTubers in they want you want to, like you can do anything. Mm. And, over, and over time, you keep unlocking more and more stuff. You're gonna keep like, oh, as, as it, all your mates, it's a group thing as well. I think yeah. that's much more like, uh, like you, did, you, did you share accounts with your friends at any point? Um, no, I don't think so. There's a lot of people, like a lot of people, even in, I guess, in like your comments, maybe you'll find maybe they share an account with their friend, yeah. and like some of them might what, play. So that they can boost yeah, their like, player quicker. Yeah, no, no, like not even for clubs, it's on the team as well. Like they just, oh, okay. they're sharing experience, like let's work on our team together. Mm. So imagine, like, as a, I feel like as a club, as a group of friends, yeah, you'd, it's like, almost like creating a Sunday league team online with each other, and you're building your club. Yeah, but right now it's very and the, it's it's, boring. Is it, yeah, it's a, it's a bit like career mode actually, that single player career mode in that sense, it could be anyway. You're starting off as a lower league team and you're building yourself it's like up. like grassroots or, working, right? Yeah. I, think, I think like that whole, and then you can add that whole narrative of you work your way up to being like the biggest in the top 100 clubs in the world. Yeah. And it could be really competitive as well. I mean, I know this is the point I'm getting sh- to. So Shifty then, would love that. Yeah. Then, Shifty would love that. Then, then clubs as a whole, you have, say you even make clubs of 4v4 spectator sport, uh, spectator esports, sorry. Like imagine like, say that like Gfinity studio, you have four, four in one booth, four in the other booth. Yeah, one's playing amazing. as any, one's yeah. playing as like... They'll be communicating as well, so it wouldn't yeah. be as boring. You have, That's the thing have you to said chat. earlier, where it would be like, just quiet, then they towel yeah. their hands, shake hands. Like They'll be communicating when they're there, which yeah. will make it a lot more exciting for a spectator. People will be, will be raging at your teammates, because you're not fully in control of everything. You might have a goalkeeper, you might have a striker in the field, and you have one person who's your best player. You have two yeah. strikers and you have your one person who's your defender and you have one goalkeeper. Yeah. And like, I think that as a whole concept in itself. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, for like, me, for me, clubs is, was my favorite game mode. Like, it just, it just stale because yeah. it doesn't change. Yeah, really stagnant. Yeah. But it makes, I, I understand EA's point of view that no one plays it. So. But the reason why no one plays it's it is because, because they it's awful, haven't, yeah, yeah. Because they haven't improved it. Yeah. So it's one of the things, it's a hard thing to grab. But I think as a whole, that's a, that's a motion that should be pushed so much. There's, yeah. a yeah. there. there's a lot of scope there for improvement and like I, I've, 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 many times I've tried to say to you like, come on please please do this please do this yeah. I try and cheekily say to them like you know, there's a great idea we've got <laughs> here yeah but uh, like it's, it's, it's not, never, not down to them it's down to people like, even higher up than yeah but surely they can if, you, if you're a businessman you can see like 
the people higher up are only going to care about the business side, but which d- they say would be... Yeah, but they have the to play the game to understand it. Yeah. And necessarily, do, do the CEOs or people high up play it? They just see what's they, they making see, money, I yeah, suppose. If you're a CEO, you, like if you're, if you're a CEO yeah. you see your budget sheet, or you see your forecast in the year, and you see, like, okay, right, cool. This is what we've earned on this. What should we do next year? Let's put, okay, this, this, uh, this much money, let's put all our money into that one. It's like saying any company would do it. Same way, like, let's put an example, Simon Sink, so obvious, like Simon Clovin, say we release 70s, this 70s here, it's, it's black and blue. It doesn't do very well. They don't want you to buy it. So we don't just go, all right, well, we don't sell that one anymore then. Let's, yeah. let's, put, let's put more money into stocking in more of these ones. That people want, yeah. And that's all FIFA, that's all EA are doing with FIFA is they look at, okay, the people who are playing the Ultimate Team, they send this much money, let's mm. put our money into that then. Let's put more money into it to keep growing that platform. Because you can't, there's no point putting money in saying it's not going to grow in their eyes, I guess. Yeah. Unless surely, they, unless, surely unless they, 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 who's, they have like someone who's fully in the game. But um, they, then again, they hired people like Yerpsef, and he doesn't, he doesn't work. He, he was there as a, uh, a video editor, right? Yeah, video editor. So he really, should have been there for way more than that. I feel like people like that need to be people that are involved in developing the game. Well, like a lot of the issues with interacting with the hardcore user base that are social media stars was the fact that coins were about. So they can't, they can't or don't want to work with people who are essentially screwing them over. Yeah. Like, mm. So, yeah. but now they are, you know, you see it with Spencer, like they're far more open to working with YouTubers, but I don't think they work with YouTubers or just influencers in general on a creative level. And I think that's sad because mm. although a lot of what I want is selfish to my needs, I also know generally what my community wants. Yeah. And EA just aren't really willing to listen I, I, to I don't think that's EA. That I community think, I, I, I can definitely grow as well. I can even think of. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. There's some, some games like uh, GTA, for example, as of late. Um, so a couple of year, maybe a year ago, they che- they modified how the bikes worked. So you used to be able to, if you leant back, you could make the bike glide, but they fixed it. So if you leant back, you just, just normal gravity, like just yeah. went up. And then like the stunting like community was a bit angry about this. Like, well, oh, you've ruined our whole community now. And they fixed it, they went back. And they was like, we understand, okay, this is what, this is something, it's a glitch to, is like, yeah, yeah. like bounces on COD Four. Yeah, people yeah, would want to keep yeah, that, but they yeah, took on the remake. They, they didn't have it. Yeah, they got rid of it. Yeah, that's because they couldn't. They couldn't recreate it. I don't think. Okay, but still, um, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. And then GTA recently, um, so uh, they took down a soft, software called Open Four. I think it's called. It's like a modding soft modding tool. It's basically what allows people to download a mod and install it easily, mm. uh, and it to work. Um, and this company for always vowed like. We don't. We don't want to affect none of our none of our mods affect online. We don't want to ruin Rockstar's online experience or ruin the the money money in the game, anything like that. We, we don't promote any of that stuff. They got they got a cease and desist letter that shut the whole thing down. Oh, and this thing's been going for ten years. So like this is this is the company's been what have like done all the mods. Like if you've seen like Superman flying or in GTA or Minecraft or like um, SpongeBob in GTA, anything like that. That like, they've been behind it, and then this the, the negative attention that got was insane. Like. They, everyone said, okay, everyone vote down the game on Steam. So it went to like, being like the most positive game on Steam down to like, underwhelming ne- negative. And then they've now retracted it. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, and they've Power understood, people, they, 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 they've understood yeah. that they, what, because it was Take Two took it down, mm. not Rockstar, the parent company Take Two took it down, I think. And they was basically, they, the, the, whole, the whole point of it was trying to get rid of the, the attacks online. People, you go on online lobby, someone's like, attaches like a flag to you and suddenly you're in the air yeah. and suddenly you die and you're like oh that's annoying so they were trying to get rid of that but in turn they didn't realise they were just cutting off this whole community yeah that play their game but FIFA yeah. don't really listen like that the only notable thing that I can really think of other than a few foot champs things is last week they released loan versions of SPC cards mm. everyone was up in arms so the next week they released the full the versions ones, of yeah. them and they said, you know, we heard you and such, but it's it's like, okay, so they heard us on that. So do they just not care about the other things that we want changed? Yeah. Cause are they well, not legally allowed to do things maybe. about them? Like, Is it that they made money from that and that's why they listened? Um, I mean, they did make money from it, but en- like anything I suppose you'd make else, money from clubs yeah. if you were to change it and monetize it. Yeah, like, not even clubs, like, even just, just like stuff. specifically Ultimate Team things that people are crying out for, that people really want, that they don't give they would make money from it. And, mm. you know, I, like, I understand a lot of the back scene of Ultimate Team where the team that work on Ultimate Team, 
aren't the guys that make the decisions of all my team. Yes, like, I see, yeah, yeah that's like, the thing that I was saying. Like, it's not always the high, it's the higher ups. Yeah, it always goes and how that money they're allocated and what. Yeah, stuff. I think games, my games are getting better. Devs are getting better at listening uh, yeah. to certain communities. But like, I'm trying, like, trying to think of some other examples where. Companies have listened. Yeah, PUBG is perfect. PUBG yeah, listened. A perfect example of a game. More yeah. than anyone I've ever seen. And like their their community manager is constantly on Twitter explaining, rationalizing, you know, like and the patch talking notes, about they do it so in depth. Yeah, in depth patch notes and, and PUBG is just showing its community, hey, we actually care. We're trying to do the best. And and it what what is nice as well is that they're humble about things. Like they'll they'll tweet out sorry about the server downtime like it's something we're trying to work on but right now we exactly. don't have the revenue to be able to, to yeah. get what we want to be able to get and as a consumer you actually appreciate the honesty rather than the saying communication server downtime yeah what's server downtime yeah you feel, that's you, your you, internet yeah you feel, you feel <laughs> mm. i think the pub you feel it's it's quite like it feels organic the game feels like i don't play I feel like it. it's a game made by gamers they don't know gamers. This to. yeah so the person who player unknown yeah player, yeah he made a mod in Armour 2 and then he got investment I think as well yeah. that's how he gone over to doing this um, so he already made that game but he's a gamer like he he cares what he made is what he loves yeah so then he know what's happened now he's just got the money to be able to do it and it's gone somewhere and he's hired a team around him that also are gamers I guess they have a passion for it man yeah, I mean, yeah. Some, some companies might not be that they might yeah. it's when a company gets I said before when a company starts getting run by like marketing people and not actually a numbers people not actually the creators and innovators of the game interestingly marketing would probably be more up for listening to influencers than depends because they might be advertising based so like yeah. we, we used it we used uh, I mean, I mean, podcast or not but it was like the Steve Jobs example of how once a company's run by marketing people and not the innovators and the, the people who create it all, that's when a company is now stagnant and it's going to die. Because marketing people focus on numbers and they focus on, I guess, like, yeah, just, that's it, they're just numbers. Yeah. So, like, there's many, many uh, PR companies out there who I, even I've worked with or anyone's worked with, it's like, they, what they focus on is the numbers part. Yeah. They couldn't care... They, they, they couldn't care less. It's almost like they what, don't understand that other part themselves. It's not even that. So they don't they care like, okay, any positive messages are sent across. They care, okay, you sent over this many, this much traffic. But that's 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 maybe what their one. their job depends on. So that's why they're like that. But it's just a shame that a business becomes that, that's, that focus and that central. It's a shame that businesses maybe like Apple don't realise the genius of, well, obviously they realise the genius of Steve Jobs, but they don't, realize maybe how they're choking them their own company in that sense like we've mentioned this before steve jobs was going on leaps and bounds and what they've done in the last two or three years they've they've but, taken away your aux port and given you a red iphone but yeah the money they've made in the past it's like years has been insane so that's yeah. what i mean so it's run yeah. by market fair, yeah. so market people run it and, and they're, they're looking enough. at the numbers going okay all this marketing's really working well all the budget guys in the back office at accounting are going yeah this is working brilliant keep doing this and you may spend all this money on technology to progress it further. Let's slow down the releases. Though. Let's get so let's get twenty releases out before we get that new camera in. Because what's, what, why put it in the next release? Yeah. Because they're like, well, we we should get twenty more twenty more functions out in each phone first. Opposed yeah. to okay, here no, no, they don't put all their eggs into one phone. They go, okay, we've got all these new technology working on. They should drop one egg into this one, one egg into the next one, because that's where you're ma you're maximizing mm. your money long term. Mm. But in 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 the long term, they're also maybe damaging themselves in that arguably Samsung are now the market leaders in terms of um in terms of just how advanced their products are. Is it not that someone said the other day, uh no, I can't remember, there was an article in it, I don't quote me on this, but I believe there was an article saying that i this new iPhone they've got coming out mm. is essentially Samsung. It's it's got the curves it's got the curved yeah, edges. They're just following on that. They're, they're, yeah. Like Essentially, Samsung are now the market leaders, are they not? If, oh, if, well, they're, they're if market innovators, like, so to speak. The, the, lead, sorry, leaders, yeah. the leaders are still Apple in the sense of sheer yeah. numbers. You were saying, going back to, related back to PUBG, is that's a game that's still run by the yeah, creators, the, the people yeah, yeah. who actually that's made fair. it. Yeah. So, like, so again, like EA might be, met, like FIFA, sorry, might be owned by and run by people who are in marketing. Yeah. Looking at numbers. And some of the games that are the smallest games are the people who have the most in touch community. Yeah. It makes more sense. It's like YouTubers, I guess, same thing though. Like even YouTubers who are, the small YouTubers probably have the best community yeah. and the oh, best interaction. Like they that reply to every comment. Yeah. Yeah. But over time, you progress and you're not, it either gets too much or you've got too much stuff going on or you're, and you become, maybe people have focused more on the numbers than the actual individuals. Well, yeah. become detached slightly. You, you over time, like because when you're a small YouTuber, you see this person you see them all the time. Yeah. You're like, oh, like nice to see you. Thanks for coming. 
you, you get replies and there's, there's a, some like back and forth there where when you get to a certain level on YouTube, it might be that there's literally just a one way message of I'm releasing this content and you're going to engage with it or you're not. Yeah, it's definitely how it's, it's gone. Even look at that, it, in the same, yeah. it's the same, that's across every platform. Anyway, yeah. that businesses, games, YouTubers. I, I would say even, and I've, I've mentioned this like a lot in videos on stream and such, I got more interaction from Twitter. I got more messages on Twitter when I had 5,000 followers than when I've now got 750,000 followers because people would not expect a reply, but know they've got a better chance of replying. Yeah. Now it's like, well, he's never going to reply. What's the point of even tweeting to him? Mm. Or actually, well, the way Twitter's gone, it's now more like a, it's not about the engagement with people now. It's about, hey, this is what I'm doing. Hey, this is what I'm doing. It's like a broadcast hey, this is what I'm doing. Thing. Yeah, it's, it's more about just letting people think, know what, you, what I do rather than talking to someone. As someone like you who's been around the whole time that I feel like I've been around on that Twitter and stuff, I was thinking of today, like thinking it the other day, sorry, is that I feel like, I think I've tweeted like 80,000 times now. Yeah, I'm over 90,000, yeah. Well, I'd probably say, I think you can put it on Social Blade or something, the last 10,000 tweets are in the last four years. But then seventy thousand are in like the first two years. Yeah. So do you think Twitter has changed much? Your use of Twitter has changed a lot, though, hasn't it? Yeah. So, so do, do you think Twitter has changed as a whole, or do you like? Cause I don't know how. Maybe you're, maybe you're different. So do you think Twitter has changed as a whole in the way you use it over the past six years or five years, or do you think that we've changed as people so that now the way I use Twitter is more? I'm more business minded now. I'm like, okay, there's a lot more. There's a, there's a reaction. There's a consequence to everything I say. Yeah. I think it's a combination was that, of all was that of it. the longest question I've ever given you? Yeah, no, I feel, I feel like it's a combination of everything. I, th I think the way people in general use Twitter has changed. Like I said before, I, I, and I, I, it's not fact or anything, but I think Twitter was created for f a, an easy way for friends to engage and to interact with each other. You can tag more than one person in your conversation. You can have a conversation. But now, very rarely do I talk to you on Twitter. Very rarely do I talk to friends on Twitter as much as I did back then. Like, we would have in depth long conversation on Twitter back yeah. back in the day. But now it's more about this is my video or this is what I'm doing tomorrow. You know, podcast coming up, have you any questions? It's yeah. not a com it's not about talking to the person or talking whether it be another influencer, a friend or a fan. It's no longer about me talking to my fans. Like I, I definitely get less interaction from them and I don't think that's because of any any one thing. I think that's just how social media has evolved. Do you think I feel like maybe it's almost like Facebook now, I guess, actually. Like, so I feel like when I, when I first got Twitter, it's more like I tweet every thought. Like, if I, if I listen to a song, okay, tweet that song lyric, I like that song lyric, that, that resonates with me, or I like that song lyric. Um, or that shows that song I'm listening to right now. Yeah. If you wanted, like, an opinion on something, you'd ask, or, like, where's the best place to do-do-do, and you I think, I think, I was, like I think that I that well, sometimes, but I think, like, I feel like it was more every, almost every thought was there. Like, and then, yeah. yeah. And, like, there'd be times where, like, we just used to, like, like when we when we used to go out, I'd, I'd like we just like the fact that I could tweet and say like this or that, and everyone would go with us like Rihanna or Beyonce, and yeah. you look at all that responses. And I'd tweet like thirty times in the space of like ten minutes. So if I did that now, imagine like the uproar it would on Twitter of like just spamming. What the yeah. fuck are you doing? Yeah, you get off my timeline, unfollow. Yeah, people would yeah. Yeah, unfollow. Yeah, yeah. Was it just I mean, it's just a smaller community, so it just didn't really feel. Yeah, and then you're right as well. We used to have like back and forth conversations, a whole chain. But I feel like if me and you had a conversation now, it'd be like. Why are you not like yeah, talking like, to each other normally? Like, yeah, why exactly, just go through yeah. Skype or DMs or text or anything? Mm. So I'm trying to think. Like I was, I was thinking the other day, like has Twitter changed or if it just that I'm just like now I, I'm so cautious of what I tweet. I feel like my Twitter's the most boring thing I've seen in my life. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely uh, sometimes I have to check myself. Like so I'll look at my Twitter feed for whatever reason and I'll go scroll down it and I'll be like, okay, this is me promoting a video. This is me liking a video. This is me telling on streaming, and it's just like me pushing me and it's you like right my Twitter I, for the past right. two years so <laughs> like I I a big part yeah, of my me? YouTube I guess feel is that I interact a lot with my yeah. viewers so when I see that I'm like damn I need to start talking to the people more I need to actually you know even if it's just one or two extra people a day yeah. let them know that I'm not just this you know conglomerate of Narcissist me trying to person, yeah, yeah push myself out there and get more and more and more when actually I do care about what you have to say and I because I, I read basically every tweet that gets sent to me. Yeah, like, I literally, like, I have a tweet deck open all day, every day. Yeah, same. And like, I read, I do, I do read literally pretty much every tweet unless it's like, there's an insane amount of one from one tweet that's, I can't keep up the replies. Yeah, so yeah. I like, scroll up. But like, I, I, mean, I, try, I do try my best to reply, but I, I, and now I think I'm more, I'm more tactful who I reply to in the yeah. sense of like, I look for a good, a good tweet to me that is like thoughtful, it's wrote, great, yeah. like, 
it was just like saying like I guess like, you're someone who's quite a victim of this of like people that try and trigger you in the mentions yeah. and you used to always like bite I did yeah. and, that's, I mean, that's, and that, that causes people to do it more <laughs> yeah it just encourages like, it more yeah because they see it yeah Blocky you, spree, I, blocky there, was a, there was a good period of time it's like yeah it's yeah. like Okay, Nep's now just destroying this person on Twitter. <laughs> oh, wait, another I just, one jumped in. I He's destroyed you, him too. One of the reasons why I kind of stopped that is like over the last few years specifically that branding has got much more important as a revenue source for social media, yeah. YouTube, Twitter, everything. Uh, I, like, I sit there sometimes and after I've said something on Twitter, even if it's hilarious or even if it's just putting someone in their place, I sit there and think, what would a prospective company that might want to work with me think about me yeah. saying also that what do you that. gain from doing that anyway yeah yeah like, i mean i mean it does gain a good laugh out of twitter to be yeah. fair but yeah, <laughs> like, but i wonder how much i've actually hurt myself yeah in the long run of companies maybe blacklisting me because we're like oh look at all this stuff that he's put on twitter we don't want to we don't want to be 14 year olds yeah. <laughs> like, 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 yeah companies do pay for like proper checks on you now and they're yeah. like yeah they'll go through your tweets and they'll print off pages of like what's this what's this Mm, yeah, see, my, my they would need a, more than a few pages to, to pick just, up my what's this just list. Like yeah. roll with it. Right, so we've got some things to ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what's all this about? You called this 14 year old kid this. Yeah. Sometimes Made him they cry. Deserve it. Yeah. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, he deserved it. He, <laughs> he goes at me on Twitter it. and Bates. Bates the, loves a block, doesn't he? The, 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 thing, the thing about Twitter is, though, you don't know that they're 14. Like, it, yeah, it, it's, it, in, they've got my, a footballer as their picture. Yeah, like, well, my mental state isn't this is some young undeveloped mind that's just trying to trigger me my mental state is this is just a an account a on human. twitter yeah it's just yeah. a person like i don't associate people tweeting me with an age or a gender or a race or anything i just think unless they've got a, a picture of them yeah, at some even, then it's yeah. Just, even now i think even yeah you don't really like, being a dick, take yeah. hold of that i just think well this guy's being a dick so he's gonna get what's coming to him yeah. you know you don't you don't think of the consequences of uh who they are and what yeah. they're doing and why they're doing it, really. Whereas if it was real life and this kid was like looking up at you, like I'm saying these things to you, you'd just be like, just yeah. go away. Yeah, go away. But when me. it's online, you, you, half the time you wouldn't even look at the picture, you just read the words first and that is the reaction. And then yeah. maybe you'd look at their picture. But the first thing is you read it, you get rage and you'd be like, I think I, I think I used to, I think I used to buy it like four years ago, I think at some points, occasionally. But I feel like I don't remember last time, <coughs> like, have you read something and gone, like, that's actually bothered me? Or like, I've that wants me to want to reply. Typically, I'm just like, if someone says something positive, then I'll happily reply and give a good response. As long as I feel like, I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm just tactful. I just I'd like people who like rep, because rep, I'm such a formal person. If someone writes something formally to me, trust me, you're probably going to get a response. Yeah, mm. like keep that in mind because you block thanks me quite a few times. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you write me a shitty grammar, then I'm a bit funky. I'm like, <laughs> I ain't replying to you. Like so it, says, it says a lot to me, I guess. Yeah, I say like same way we get like we get business emails. If your business email is wrote out properly yeah i'm gonna read it properly but if it's like hello so no I've capital this, letters i've got this company yeah. lowercase full stop of them. and like okay just delete i'm not even gonna even the best one yeah. is when they've clearly sent like just mass email yep. or just copy pasta and it's yeah. like like i get like a hi ksi i'm like <laughs> yeah. wait i <laughs> yeah. think you've got the wrong person have you not seen it when they like well, you know, when they, very in, they don't be they don't bcc so yeah. they do the one where it just shows everyone yeah. it's like okay there's a thousand people here <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Hello, love your content. Great, it's brilliant. Just was watching your most recent video. Was you, yeah? Just, All 1,000 of us, fishing with yeah. a net there, aren't they? Just like trawling. Just yeah. like, yeah, I might catch a couple of YouTubers here. You never I wonder know. if they do. They probably do. They yeah, have to. Some smaller ones, I'm sure. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's, you guys must, You, I know you guys. I've seen the, I see the, in the business emails, you guys get 30 of those a day. Yeah. Uh, it's just like, delete, delete. I just, no, just, I, I, I don't deal with it. Just, yeah, potential, 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 potential. I don't read it. <laughs> I, I, go. I can see it. Delete. Yeah. Delete. Yeah. Delete. These, these are just generic emails from people. He's just like, ah, whatever. Talking about social media, actually, I saw your video uh, where you seem to get a bit of backlash about, uh, <laughs> about, I don't know, about uh, like clickbait and uh, oh, yeah. like all that sort of stuff. And this, 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 this is like a bit of a, a theme on YouTube at the moment. This is, this is what you this is what you have to do on YouTube now is clickbait titles, clickbait thumbnails. And it seemed like from your video, people, you thought people were, well, people were supposedly saying, you know. I mean, for, for me, there's a very clickbait. gray area with clickbait, right? Because first and foremost, just media in general is clickbait. Yes. Magazines, <laughs> films, like when you watch a trailer for a film, yeah. that is the clickbait of YouTube. They're showing you something to entice you to buy yeah. their product. Mm -hmm. And 
so that I can't I, like I I do that on YouTube too. I give you my title and my thumbnail are something out of that video that I know is going to draw you in to click the video because that's what I have to do to survive as a YouTuber. And I I'm totally on board with that form of clickbait because you have you know you have to use it to survive. If I just title my video Road to Glory Episode One, it might still get some views, but not nearly as many views as if yeah. I put a headline title in there. What I don't agree with and what I get called for sometimes which I don't agree with that I do is when people just lie in the thumbnail to get people to click a video that is not relevant to the thumbnail I like for me that is literally just stealing views and, and stealing money off effectively off of Google yeah, yeah. People, like, and, and the FIFA community is horrendous for it you know last year um, I can't remember who it was specifically t they literally uploaded a video in February oh my god I've got FIFA 17 mm -hmm. and the video got over 2 million views and it was nothing to do with FIFA 17. Yeah. And it, like, I don't know how they can get away with that. But mm. if they had done a video where they, like I've, like I've already done FIFA 18 videos. I don't have FIFA 18, but I've talked, you know, if I'm talking about FIFA 18 in the video, I feel like that there is a, a strong enough connection between FIFA 18, me and the title of the video to give people reason to know that actually I act like FIFA 18 is referenced in this video. It's not just me trying to draw someone in and get a fake view because I prefer to have a real community of viewers that know that my content is genuine all the time. Is, yeah. yeah. And people sometimes, you know, when I talk about clickbait, and I'm sure the comments of this video will be the same, you titled your video such and such. And for me, there is a reference of that in the video. Even if I, even if it's not the actual thing, I, I might be talking about, like a lot of my videos are me talking about subjects, just topics, you know, like almost mini podcasts, 20, 30 minutes of me just talking about things that my viewers have asked me. Definitely. So if they ask me a question about FIFA 18, I feel like I'm now entitled okay, to yeah, entitled yeah, yeah. to title the video about FIFA 18. But if I just made a video, brand new FIFA 18 squad builder, that's, you, yeah. you can't possibly do that. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's, that's where I, I think there is a gray area there, but I think some people cross the boundaries and never get called out for it. I, yeah. I think, I think you, you think about clickbait the way that most, I'd say, good, FIFA, good YouTubers in general think about clickbait is that it's essentially just a glorified, exaggerated, in some cases, topic of, of at some point in the video. Yeah. Like for example, like say we do GTA all the time, and say there's a like some big loop or some stunt, we call it some insane stunt. Yeah. But it probably isn't insane because we've done the same, the same thing, stunt yeah. for the past hundred episodes. But you got yeah, you have to draw in that thingy, and sometimes like okay, even thumbnails. Sometimes you manipulate, you manipulate thumbnails. To get people to in, in, click, click, click on it, just be like, okay, that's like slight. It is what this is what it is, but it slightly changed it to so yeah. it's a bit more exciting. For example, like in Rocket League, um, sometimes I've gone like, oh, we're doing a volleyball game mode, and I might adjust the way the pitch looks so it looks like a volleyball thing, which is like that's that's the grey area. The same, same thing in there. FIFA. Like I, I might say the best player I've ever used, and I'll have a mystery card with a 99 rating. Probably wasn't a 99 rated card, but it's but, to indicate that this was a good it's player. Yeah, of yeah exactly. Is, yeah. yeah. But you're right. So there's things like it's this, but it just isn't that at all. Yeah. It's, I think it, you can look at it like if you could call an article on BuzzFeed or something that if you could if you could put your video into an article form and you feel that like you'd you'd happily title it that and it'd work, then I think it's fine because you've actually covered it in the article. Yeah. Like say BuzzFeed, they always they always say they could call that clickbait, but they typically do what it says on the tin. Yeah. Like it just. This is a clickbait title, and that newspaper's that anyway, isn't it? Really, yeah, every exactly. newspaper is that. It's, it's, the headline that it's the same paper. thing. It's just yeah. media. It's just it's, it's, it's essentially a form of advertising, in, in, in YouTube especially. It's a form of advertising. That's even worse to me because people are not even paying for your video; they just click on it. Newspapers are you're spending what sixty five p on a newspaper on the, on the title, yeah. based off of oh yeah, actually. But then are you? I, mean, I, I think it's made paper up. based on a like. In, I mean, I don't buy papers anyway. No. But even when it, like, I don't think anyone buys paper and goes like. That's headline, buy it. I suppose, yeah, no, possibly. Maybe like 50 years ago. Yeah, no. Or 30 yeah. years ago, 20 years ago. But like, yeah. people, get, buy people get now. into the habit of buying Definitely papers not now, now yeah. I suppose. Now it's just like, even in standard on the way home. Well, like, e metro, e you know even, I mean? even with newspapers, most of them are online papers now, aren't they? That yeah. It's basically the same thing as it's in the newspaper, just online. And they get paid through the advertising of the clicks and yeah. probably don't actually make that much money from the sale of the newspaper itself anymore. I guess talking about that, then how do you feel about YouTube in general. Because we had Cal on last time, and I feel like me and Cal left that podcast like, is that depressing? Like, yeah. should I both be posting this or should we be editing it out a little bit? And we was like, I decided, oh no, it's like, that's real, it's my it's real, real honest yeah. interview. We had like, Absolutely. It's, it's, that's, 
the back end of YouTube you don't see because uh, typically we're putting across like the happiness and whatever. Um, so it's good to show the real side of things. But I don't know, I, I feel like I've watched a couple of videos recently and you spoke positively about YouTube. I thought that's quite a refreshing change because like, most people I've spoken to as of late, whether it be my own friends, whether it be people outside of our group or anything, feel like they talk quite negatively about YouTube, whether it be like the CPMs, whether it be about the views, whether it be about the status in regards to what content you have to make. Well, I think you spoke about recently, like you're positive, you're happy with where you are on YouTube right now. And I'm happy with where I am personally, for sure. I think in terms of like just touching on some of the things that Cal was talking about and some of the things I saw on his Twitter feed and stuff, I, I, I do think that though, that like I don't know if I'm a big thing for YouTube. I know in my world, I have a lot of viewers and a lot of followers, hmm. but on the grand scheme of things, I don't know how important I am to YouTube. And what I find frustrating is that if I have questions or things that I want would like clarified or anything on like you know why a video did specifically well or why it didn't do so well even though it's generally the same content I literally have no one I can talk to about that yeah and that is quite frustrating and that's your job especially yeah exactly in a, in a yeah. normal job you'd be able to go to your manager and maybe they could give you some guidance yeah but by the sounds of it YouTube aren't very helpful I don't think to that. in that like say like say if you did 10 episodes of Road to Glory or Draft Glory sorry and um one gets 200k and the rest get 140 I don't think even YouTube know as to why that one got 200K. Right. For someone, for someone, you get someone who studies analytics, look at it, and they could go to you, okay, right. So I've looked at your demogra the traffic sources throughout all of these ones, and they could say, okay, this episode got a lot more suggested. And even and in analytics, you can do this as well. You can click a video and go suggested, and you can see exactly where that traffic came from, from a set. Like, say, say you said you click suggested, it will say, like, you've got 10K views from this exact video. So ten people have clicked it from that seeing it there on that video. So sometimes that you could literally be your indicator. You could look at it yourself. Sometimes you could look but at why yourself. Why do they get put in suggested? Yeah, that's, that's and that's, that's that's the hard part. And, that's, and this part that so everyone says like algorithms and thing, but I think ultimately YouTube don't even know they're an algorithm anymore. They curate the algorithm, so they'll say, okay, we want watch time to be increased. That is what they did a long time ago. They added in so that it went from to, to change the way YouTube works. It wasn't about cats and booby thumbnails. It changed to you need to increase uh, watch time. This this eradicates uh, clickbait that is wrong. So say say if I call a video um, top fifty sexy women, sexiest women ever. Back in the day, they've got millions of views. Yeah. There's videos of people channels that had like thirty million views of just a boob thumbnail and just cool boobs. Just so it's suggested you click it. Yeah. And that pushed it more through suggested, but it had like three hundred k dislikes because it wasn't about boobs. It was about anything else. But now that that can't happen anymore, it doesn't happen. And the reason is because for videos getting suggested, it has to have watch time. Yeah. So you, when people, people have to that, people yeah. have to have watched it. So if you click on a video and you have been a victim of clickbait, you've been a you clicked the video that spat on the table. <laughs> you've been a victim <laughs> of um. <laughs> <laughs> so say say you say switch to the red ball quick. So say you've been a victim and you click the video and it isn't what it said on the tin. You click off it. Yeah. So you've instantly negatively affected that video, where people who have make good content or typically have people who watch for a very, very long time. So, and that's how Suggested is meant to be curated at the moment. It may have changed because you've seen a big shift in the fact that gaming was huge on YouTube yeah. because it gamed that system. Yeah. Because if you did a big, long H1Z1 video, it's 40 minutes for a game. I guess it comes into it, yeah. a lot of people might watch 40 minutes. So that would gain the system where now, I think that there's something new that's going to have to come in that's about how long they're watching and I guess with the length of the video because gaming isn't on top anymore like if you go to the top 100 growing channels on YouTube right now it used to be PewDiePie and Markiplier Jack and just Sips count uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Diamond, Diamond Mine, uh, Mine, uh, Minecart and loads there's all gaming just blowing up like bigger channels on YouTube are all gaming mm. but now obviously it's the pools it's the all the vine that's coming over yeah so saying it's changed again or it's just a shift in the way content works but I don't think they could. T I don't think YouTube even typically tell you as to why that video did better. It's just in the in the, in that day how how life was working, what yeah. videos were going out. It, your video placed. Yeah, it could be an your video. Who else put their content yeah, in, out in, on your, that in your in your yeah. in your whole yeah. area? Yeah, like it could be that say on a day, say if a lot of your fan base follow us, and for some reason we're putting out uh, like five real life videos. That might negatively or positively impact your video. Yeah. Because no, you I could be that. you could be related to us on YouTube. So if it's if that could be positively, so you have five videos going out getting a lot of views, and you could be in the chest in one of them, and that could literally make your series think, Oh my series is banging right yeah. now. <laughs> and, then right, and then the next episode you're like, 
Oh wait, what? It's not. So that's what I mean. So because it's because it's so in depth and it's so yeah. much more than just like oh this video is getting views, this video is getting views, this video is because it doesn't mean it's good, it doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah. I see. I see what you're saying. What, so in what way? Is, in a, in in a sense, it, it's very difficult for YouTube to mm. come up with a an algorithm that will be able to keep everyone happy because there's always going to be a loser, I guess, in that in that. Yeah, no matter what they change. All, there's always going to be your gainers and your losers. So like, yeah. they changed to a Cosmic Panda layout at some point. It was like 2012. Yeah. And I, Justine, Dave Storm, and a bunch of big YouTubers then plummeted off the face of the earth because their videos were all short. And this is when they had the watch time thing. And they changed it so the watch time, unless you had really high watch time, you just didn't get views. So all their channels went from like 20 mil views down to like, te- like two, literally overnight. That's crazy. And... They could happen again. They could go, okay, watch time's not important anymore. All we care about is likes. Yeah. But why do you think they, they switch it up so much? Why do you think they do They haven't. They haven't changed it for like four years now because they changed it then because they knew what they was going for. They was going for, we need to eradicate that whole sector of YouTube and we need to push premium content. For ads? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's when adverts come in properly. Yeah, yeah. Money. And, but, and it, has, it had say, to happen. Who's to say that a three minute video can't be premium? There could be a lot of CGI so goes can. into that. A lot of hard work. A lot of post production, a lot of editing, thousands of pounds could, could go into. We we know people who who are like yeah. DOPs, whatever, who short produce, films and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they produce short films. These could be six minute, f- four minute videos, high quality stuff. And what? Because it's not a certain length, it doesn't. Music videos do rewarded. well. It's, yeah, music videos do well in it. But is that because you think because they're, they're manually is. like? I don't know how. I literally don't know that. Like all I know is from experience over the years I've done it. I, mm. And I know I've, I've certain inside, like, but like, no, there's nothing really. No, no one inside YouTube can tell you. No. I have contacts with YouTube. No one can tell you. They say, even like, I have someone oh, I can talk to at YouTube. And I, I, I've spoken to several people at YouTube over time. And none of them could tell you why certain things will do well, better or worse. And they can give you guidance into what they know, but they can never, like, it's, 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 it's not run by a human. Yeah. It's a, it's a supercomputer that just is just churning it out. Like, is it, like, no, no humans could control that. No, okay. Because there's a conspiracy of like, oh, you could make a big YouTuber like a lot, a lot of YouTubers always say like, um, you can make this YouTuber famous like they're just clicking like, yeah, this YouTuber should be pushed now, like it's a bit like, like like Jake Paul. Yeah. A lot of people thought okay, because he's under Disney, he's, on he's getting hit sort of thing. Because he's getting he must be getting pushed because he's under Disney. Is he under Disney? He was Not until anymore, like yeah. two three days ago. Oh, oh, what they dropped him because of the whole. I they didn't drop him. They parted ways. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, there's like a whole, <laughs> that's a whole other yeah. story. But yeah. So then, a lot of people, there's a conspiracy like, oh, like he's being pushed as the golden boy because he will be the, like people like him could be the key to the crossover to these corporations getting yeah, into YouTube because they 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 want the big superstars because the superstars is what brings over mainstream media and ad revenue. Like people like Zavala and stuff bring over mainstream media because like they want yeah. those people to that, that merges it all together. And as soon as that happens, that's when they have a foothold essentially. That's when YouTube revenue yeah. just goes up because. Yeah. Especially with the whole like, PewDiePie thing that happened this year. Yeah. They were hit quite negatively. So See, I see in Cal's tweets, I didn't see them until, say, late yesterday. Like, seeing those, it like, hit me a bit. Like, to the point where it's like, these people who are original creators, exactly what JJ was saying in his video, YouTube, you guys, like, original independent creators can just create videos it, it seems as though almost those people are kind of being culled. not maybe not on purpose, but they are out of YouTube, and these corporations are starting to move in. And it's it to me as someone who isn't a YouTuber who doesn't necessarily understand what you understand in terms of yeah the back end CPM stuff, yeah. or back end stuff. That, yeah, I, I have no involvement now. I don't know if you like, but from the knowledge I have, it does seem like these independent original YouTube creators are sort of being just. Cold, maybe not on purpose, but it seems like they are. To so me, like just killed off by it. Yeah. Just people, in case you don't know, are cold men. That's all. Yeah. No, no. Just in case. No, 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 no. I mean, like cold. Yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah cold, like yeah. it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yes. It's. Do you, can you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. No. I, I. I get you. It's, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Like to see Calyx. You know, Calyx gets more views than me per video. Yeah. Earns considerably less revenue. How is that fair? I understand the ads, you can get premium ads and stuff, but mm. generally, you know, if, if he's garnering the views, he's doing something positive for YouTube, he should be rewarded for it, not punished. And yeah, he's like, you know, to, to take back to your question, like for me, I'm in a good place with YouTube over the last sort of like 
12, 24 months, you know, like the the longer videos and watch time actually fits right into your how your content is like, yeah my habitat like, because my, my content's been long, always been long since before monetization yeah, was even around, in YouTube. Around and yeah. stuff uses yeah, like yeah, always had long videos yeah. so for me it, it just kind of fell very kindly for me in that sense mm. and even with the ad boycott and stuff it didn't really affect me too much because gaming content was generally seen as advertiser friendly even through the advertising boycott so yeah, yeah. I did take like maybe a 30-40% dip in CPM but I know like a lot of people took like an 80, 90% different oh, CPM. More, yeah. yeah, and for, I, I would literally have to quit YouTube if that were the case for me. Yeah, because it's a scary place because you could like, that's that's the scariest thing about YouTube, I guess, is that that could happen tomorrow again. Yeah. It's saying chaos could happen tomorrow and you could uh, suddenly just earn 95% less and suddenly you can't pay your rent for the next month. Yeah. And a lot of, uh, some of YouTubers live out lavish lifestyles and they're suddenly going to get hit like, oh yeah. crap. Because mm. like you, you're, you're not ultimately in control. No, your 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 livelihood is riding. It's still on controlled a by someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? When, when you, like, I'm not I'm not a physical one. This is just like well, it is essentially, but yeah. It's and not. and that's that's not to be said. I talk about this sort of stuff on stream all the time. It's not to be said that I'd be ungrateful or anything. I'd I'd be grateful for the time that I've yeah. done YouTube. You know, I've, I started YouTube at 26. I didn't expect this as a life. Like YouTube legitimately wasn't a thing when I started my working life at 18 years old. Yeah. It didn't exist. So you know, I've, I've and I think a lot of content creators are the same. If if it did all stop tomorrow, it was fun. It was fun, but it's it's scary not knowing and not like I say, not having a contact to say, hey, why on this video did it monetize this well or get this many views? And then on this video, which is a very similar video, you know, it's the same series. It's basically the same general concept. Why did it do so much worse for revenue, for viewership, yeah. for interactions, for engagement? Like what what's, what went on there? And there's, there's no one you can ask them, like you say yourself, they probably don't even- Because, they, because they, I mean, ultimately it's, it's so many variables as well. Yeah. Like there's too many variables to even put your finger on it. Because typically you can, like it's so, there is so many variables, like literally everything. Like the, the, even down to time you posted, and who else posted that day to what's happening in the world that day. Yeah. Like current affairs, everything affects every day. Like whether that be the exams are on. So obviously that's, that's an obvious example. So certain things like that, like all those things are all variables. And you go to YouTube, okay, so why has this one done this? And he couldn't tell you. And like say like one video to another video, same video, same length, but one monetized half as amount as the other one. They could go, yeah, well, the, so the way the adverts work, they get, Earn X amount of money in, so they have to fill it out to the rest of. Yeah. So sometimes they haven't got enough to fill out to everyone, so you're just not, you're just not getting any. Yeah. The way the way it gets spread isn't they're not filling not sending to your videos, so they could say to you, yeah, well we had like a big influx of money that month when that one went out, so that's why that one went better, and then this we one didn't, didn't do one, very yeah. well. Well, so they could say like for, on that video you had more people who used AdBlock that day. Yeah. Or more people more people used on mobile or an iPad or Xbox. Yeah. And you monetize as well as desktop. It's interesting though, like the. Like the ebbs and flows are so consistent, but they're inconsistent. If you get me, like, like this time last year, I was getting like two hundred fifty thousand views a video, and then out of nowhere, it just went down to a hundred thousand views. And it wasn't a gradual. I can understand a gradual decline. Maybe the game's dying off. Maybe yeah. a new game comes out. Maybe a new content creator has blown up, and, and a it's, gradual it's decline. Views. Well, does yeah. something similar yeah. to you that I don't know that other people were like yeah exactly oh, like yeah, like, yeah yeah so okay they're doing it better than me they're doing what i do but they do it better so maybe you get in, in clap, opinion, a yeah. gradual decline of views but i never understand youtube like i, I immediately went down to a hundred thousand views video and then this year the same thing i was getting like 180,000 200,000 then immediately went down to a hundred thousand views video for like three weeks straight for no good reason and that must be mad and then i immediately well. one day i just started getting like 150,000 views a video again like like 50,000 people all of a sudden just started watching my videos again and i just I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah. Why did it happen? Yeah, it makes you feel kind of helpless in a sense. You, you You're are putting as much yeah. into your content as you were. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving the same continuously, effort. Yeah, yeah. But the output is just varying. Yeah. Throughout. And, and like I say, if, if it was going months. like, you know, 5%, 10% flows, you'd be like, okay, like you said, yeah. there are so many variables. But when it's like a big 30, 40, 50% growth or reduction, you're just like, wait. It's, this ain't more than that. Yeah, yeah. It, it has to be more than just what happened in the world that day. I guess it's, it's just that those things, the answers will never be, yeah. the questions will be answered for you. The thing is, I see, I, sorry, I saw Ollie White tweet about this today, yesterday or, some, or something, mm. saying that, the trending page is, like JJ said, no longer about you in YouTubers. It's big James corporation, Corden, James yeah. Corden, yeah. advertisers, viral videos. Surely there's a solution to this. Like, 
You sure, could, so surely there could be like a, a viral trending page and there could be a creator's trending no, page. I don't, I don't literally, literally the example that that's what I got to say is that like, that's, is, that, is that's that the one thing that's happening. It's just trending viral, trending creators. That's yeah. it. Well, they, they, they used to have like the gaming page and the... Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's I've got scrapped. I don't think you'll be seeing that coming back anytime soon. Like, they had most likes, most favorite. There were two things that were like really good that like... Yeah, yeah. I remember that. And like, that was Asian, had most viewed United Kingdom that day. Yeah. And it literally just showed you, okay, like back when I was doing the sniping videos, I could say, yeah, like I'll probably hit top 10 every day. Most viewed. Yeah, I, okay. I, 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 I got a few videos that. like in the top 100, like most viewed or and you, and most you just, watched. And you just knew, UK, yeah. and you could sort. You saw it on the channel, like you did. You on, on the video, sorry, you, you could like analytics. Yeah, you get yeah. the little banner. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. You get an honor saying, "Oh yeah, fourth most viewed United Kingdom today." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it would stay there as a date. Like I wonder why they scrapped that system though. What? What? There's nothing negative too much, about that. It's too much to maintain. But you don't need the banner. Can you not have that as a tickable like option on your own YouTube that you see? What's top viewed in the UK? Today? Yeah. What is most likely? I mean, Pornhub has it. Do you know what I mean? Like, how, how can hey, YouTube? No, no, who is it? Someone was tweeting that the other day saying, <laughs> oh, so "I wonder thinking, where they got that yeah, idea from." Yeah, Pornhub tweeted yeah, that. Yeah, no, it was Pornhub that tweeted that. Someone retweeted that. Yeah, because of the, the when you scroll over, you get the gift. Yeah, I don't. I don't now. follow Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Somebody told me about it before. I, was, I don't know. Hopefully, great buying. Yeah. Yeah. No. And seeing those, seeing the like gif of the like, pre-roll of the of the video, it's a genius idea. But that's where can they not use? That like someone at YouTube has seen that and be like, that's a great idea. I'm going to pitch that to my boss. Can but they is that not where do that it comes with the from your thing? eggs in a basket thing? Is it something that YouTube Technology. might have in two years, but they, 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 they don't want to give it, it right now? They did that. They did it. They, they did the rollover it. thing, but in terms of like most viewed UK, they, most they, watched, they, they, most they had the most viewed back in the day. And it got scrapped. Like this is like I'm talking about like 20, 20. Oh yeah, no, no, I remember it, but maybe something for the future. You know, like what FIFA do, like remove things and then bring it back, bring it back Yeah. It, it, potentially, like it makes sense to have the most viewed, and you pick your country. It just makes so much sense. Yeah, like, and I could choose US. So I could sit there and choose US, and yeah. it hasn't got to be your first option. You get onto it, just be. A, they used to have charts, and it might exist. If you go youtubecom slash charts it may still exist. I haven't checked that in so long. Never seen. But it, it may still exist because that's where that page went to. Okay. So there's there's a lot of hidden URLs on YouTube as well that people don't know about, but there's just, uh, old ones that got scrapped. But like, the, the, what you said about the trending page is the most obvious example in my head yeah. is that they just have if you are logged in you auto you you default see trending viral no you know if, you, if, you're, if you're not logged in you see trending viral they want you to get into youtube and enjoy content if you're logged in you should see trending creators and they should they should be able to be able to curate is this video a viral video or a creator video yeah is it from someone who is a persona, a personality, mm -hmm. or is it something that is a one-off video? Some random person. If it's a one-off video, video yeah. maybe 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 it's established by you are verified on YouTube or you have over one hundred thousand subs yeah. or like ten thousand subs, just or just you're just, you're just a YouTube partner. You've had that ten thousand. You got ten thousand views before. Mm. That makes so much sense. Then I could click there every day and go, okay, what what creators are doing well, trending? Basically, what? Yeah, Jake Paul be there every day, but at least creator. I know that he's there because yeah. he's getting the most views. Yeah. yeah. As a creator, that's yeah. fine. I have no issue. No one has any issues with that. Like maybe you have issues with him getting those views, but what are you going to do? Like, yeah. that's life. But then that's, that's the point, to go back to you. Because like, this is like a very non personal podcast at this point. It's we, not just, really. we just covered we, we, topics we, we, around we had, YouTube. We had opinions and stuff, and we discussed, you know, I don't know, professional gaming. Well, to an extent, professional gaming. I don't know who, like who Nep is. I don't know who I am either sometimes. Who are you, Nep? <laughs> but no, my point is like. People like, want to know. So you're happy, but I think you're, ha you're, in, like, the, you're in the gaming bubble. Yeah. So that would say like the same way that my second channel, I don't feel it's been affected at all. Yeah. And that's gaming, nothing else but gaming. So like the normal gaming channels that aren't like huge channels haven't really been affected other than maybe subscribers per day in the past year. Yeah. I think like that maybe that's changed, but then that's also a trend that I've seen along insane amount of YouTubers who are all from our era because I feel like a lot of that audience is growing up to the point of they're now too old to watch YouTube or they've moved on to new creators. Yeah. So people who blew up and our time, like three, four years ago, you'll see the put like if you go to your analytics where you see that every day you'll get subscribers gained, subscribers lost. Yeah. They'll be quite similar and that's yeah, why yeah, lose that's why them, that yeah. your numbers aren't as high as they used to be, where maybe two years ago it was just gained and there was not many lost because not many new people find out about you. That's why like Jake Paul and that gets such accelerated growth because like it's a new channel. It's all new people. Yeah. It's all the buying yeah, yeah. coming over. So that that's interesting. But like so you said you were happy with YouTube but you're doing gaming. Because you tried doing some real life stuff, didn't you? So at some point, right? Yeah. YouTube. Is there a reason why you've not done more? It's just not me. It's, I'm just, I, I, I enjoy gaming. My passion is gaming. Obviously, I have more than one passion. But yeah, I, I love playing video games. I love the interaction with the community within video games. And I tried a few real life videos, did 
you know, a few Q and A's with Simon. I did a few football videos out with AI and skills and it's it's fake yeah, content. Natural, I, I was doing it because I thought it was going to get me views, not because I was yeah. enjoying doing it. And in FIFA 15, that's actually when my channel took the biggest dive in not only viewership but revenue. And I, I never felt more out of touch with, with my fans, viewer base, yeah. yeah, than than during FIFA 15. So towards the back end I used to do collaborations a lot with other FIFA YouTubers and it was again it, it was fun working with other people and, but I was doing it because they had a big audience and I had a big audience and I would see a good crossover of subscribers and I'd, I'd enjoy that growth and that's not the right reason to do it so yeah. I literally st like unless now the collaboration is feels like right, it's something sense. I actually like like yeah. when I do Fatal with Bateson you know it's a lot of YouTubers it's a cool mini series and then we play each other at the end it's a lot of like minded YouTubers doing it for the Working love of the game and yeah, it makes sense yeah. rather than just for the crossover of subs and views yeah, it's not only mutually beneficial it's enjoyable at the same yeah time. exactly yeah so yeah I tried it in FIFA 15 tried real life stuff and it, it just wasn't fun man I just didn't enjoy it because it's interesting because I feel like I was someone who was always quiet you're not enjoying this right now sorry <laughs> is that the deal oh, it no, depends no, how much you're paying you, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting paid by the minute by the way so yeah, you're, you're paying the right way you've got dinner is that not enough <laughs> the only thing right way you can talk is fine because like yeah. you've done a lot of videos like say like uh, when we went Gamescom yeah. you, you would do a wrap up vlog each day right in the hotel yeah, room yeah, you'd be like times, day yeah. one day two and you talk about the FIFA and what you've seen from the like the, what you've got to play yeah. and then you go to Gamescom you get to play FIFA early and you would talk about that and that was real life yeah and that was like on the, you're recording on your MacBook yeah and like yeah, I mean, you actually did that. You've done that quite a few times, I guess, where you do like a real life video, we just chat. Yeah, but I mean, that's I think that's where your you, you know exactly where your skill set lies. Yeah, your skill set is that you are. I feel like you're quite a per like you're very per on your channel. You're like you're quite personal, engaging with your audience. Yeah, it's like, so quite, quite. If you watch these videos, you'll see like quite a direct connection with your audience in regards to like if you are if you are of your channel, you feel involved. Yeah. And I think that's probably why I get scrutinized more than most because I do have, like, if I do something wrong or if I do something they don't agree with, yeah. they feel genuinely upset or hurt by the fact that but I didn't do that, yeah. what I, they wanted me or expected of me. Whereas somebody else, and that, that's why like, I can't get over sometimes when I'll do like I'll do a draft video and I'll just pick a player that they didn't agree with. And yeah, I'll get sure. so many dislikes. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm a casual FIFA player and I get that. And I like, yeah, because I mean, I don't like even though what players are good that because I don't play the end that often realistically. I'm very much a casual FIFA player now. So then, like, yeah, even I make a mistake and it's like, how the hell he picked that person? That person, yeah. he has four star skill. I'm like, yeah, I bro, I ain't got no clue what skill he's got. Pe people go mental, like literally, like it's the end of their world, dislikes and negative opinions on the videos. And then I see someone do like an actual clickbait, misleading video. Yeah, and they get this less. video is great. I love this video. I want to see more of this video. Are you joking? I wouldn't necessarily say... These are the same people. These aren't necessarily the same people. No, not necessarily the same fan yeah. bases, but it's, it's, it's still like, it's one rule for one and one rule for another. Yeah. I, I wouldn't I take just... it negatively. I would see it as, regardless of anything, your channel, well, your video is evoking an emotion. Yeah. Which means that they're attached. They're, yeah, they're, exactly. they're, they're yeah, involved no, I agree in it. With that, yeah. Where, it, like, you get the clickbait videos. There is the, the, the emotion is either like, like this is fucking clickbait, like what the fuck, or it's like it's probably someone quite young who, who is just like just enjoying it regardless. Yeah. Like it probably shows that your audience is very attached and engaged in what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, and, right. and same way, like, if someone who you looked up to did saying that you felt wasn't right, you might be a bit annoyed. Yeah. Less so be, yeah. than if some random guy on the street did something wrong you know like, oh, who cares it's some random guy so it probably just means that your your videos are just that they're as engaging for your audience yeah and, and i think that actually helped me with the court case earlier this year is the fact that i have that relationship with them i i, I do because I, I obviously worried that that was the end of youtube for me yeah. in february and i and i do sit there and i think i wonder if a youtuber that had less engagement with their fans would have got more of a backlash and, and less of an opportunity to explain themselves yeah. and talk about it and, and just would have just got blind hate because the person doesn't yeah. actually care about them. Whereas I was able to explain my side, my story and, and tell, yeah. well, not all of it, but parts of what I needed yeah. to say to let them know that it's, you know, it wasn't as it seemed per se. We haven't really touched on it. Do you want to give like a, even like a rough thing of it? Yeah, so I had a site called Foot Galaxy where people were able to transfer their FIFA coins to Foot Galaxy, use those to bet on real world sporting events primarily. And then if they won, they could reclaim those coins and put them into FIFA. Um, despite what I was led to believe, we didn't have the licensing to do that. 
and so I was yeah. prosecuted for that. Yeah. So you can, you can find out more about it if you go watch on your. Yeah, you go, I've right? got videos on it, but you can Google it and it will it will come yeah. up pretty quickly. So so how did that even come about? Like what even occurred? Like so that how do you even know that it happened? Obviously you were running the site, but then what? Yeah, literally you, you just thought got... it was all running all right, and then yeah. Well, I, what, I, I, what, I thought we had the license. What point did you realise that? <laughs> literally, when the gambling commission knocked on my door, like four big heavy duty officers, police seven, officers. They, weren't, they, they were like gambling commission officers. Like okay. they weren't actually like. But they had a they, warrant. Or yeah, they had a warrant. Yeah, knocked on the door seven o'clock in the morning as I was actually just going to bed because wow. my sleep schedule. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like... I was like, I opened the door and he's like, "Yeah, we're from the gambling commission." I'm like might have the wrong house, like, I don't know. Then they like, explained who they were, what, what they were there for. And uh, they were like, we've got a warrant, but if you're gonna cause us any issues, we have got police on standby. I was like, listen, I've got no issues because I've not done anything wrong because mm. I didn't think I'd done anything wrong. I was like, you come in. I thought they would just talk to me about it. And then yeah. they're like, so we're gonna have to take all your computers. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And they, they took my computers, my phones, my laptops, hard drives, like everything electronic they took. And I asked them to leave one phone that was my like authenticator phone. It literally doesn't have anything on it except the authenticator app. Yeah. And I was like, please just leave this phone. Otherwise I can't log back into YouTube when I buy a new PC. I just yeah. can't, wouldn't even let me do that. Like wow. it, it took me three days to get into YouTube. You know, George from YouTube gaming. Yeah, yeah. Only because of him was I able to get back, back into in. YouTube. Yeah. It was ridiculous. I couldn't get into my Twitter. I couldn't get into my email because to get into my backup email, I had to go through authentication yeah, yeah. to get into my other email. I was literally just locked out of everything in like this big circle. I was, nah. it, was, it was troublesome for a couple of days, yeah. But it was a stressful situation, man, like. Because that lasted quite long, right? The whole process was quite. Yeah, from uh, January the 7th, 2016 till February the 16th, 2017. And so about that, so about, about that time you were just, I guess there's, I guess there's like a looming weight well, yeah, initially, I thought it wouldn't go to court because I was constantly under the impression we had the licenses yeah. that we needed and we were constantly changing the site to abide by gambling re commission regulations. Yeah. You know, we put eventually uh, an 18 rated system in. You had to like, verify that you're yeah. aged, that you was able to to use the website. Uh, we, we changed a few things in the back end to, to like help with people and help with some of the gambling commission stuff. But what I was led to believe wasn't yeah. the truth. And ultimately, you know, I was prosecuted for um, promoting and running a site with without the licenses. That's what I was prosecuted yeah. for. Um, and, there, you know, there's a common misconception from like football Twitter and stuff that I was swindling kids and scamming money out of people and stuff, but it wasn't. It was like a legitimate operating business just, without yeah. like, well an illegitimate legitimate operating business if you if yeah. you get me like we had everything was done by the book except we didn't have the correct license in yeah, place it, yeah. yeah and except ea might not like you is that the deal yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah the ea did. well the, uh, interestingly i actually asked the a because I, I knew coins were off the books but i asked the a this isn't buying or selling coins this is using coins and, and it wasn't even coins it was foot galaxy credits it was our yeah. own currency system that they could buy with coins, but there was no coins involved. I, I asked the A, is this okay or not? And uh, they were kind of like, we don't really know at this point. So I was all right, like EA not give me the green light, but they didn't give me the red light either. They were just like, yeah, this yeah. is a bit of a gray area for us as well. Like, I think it's the issue where we're at in YouTube and the internet anyway, is yeah. that your Virtual example currencies. and like Syndicate's example, Team Arts, um, who else has done it? Like. Phantom Lord, did Phantom it? Lord, yeah. Yeah, so all these examples that Pekka, I think some of the phase guys had it as well. Um, they're just like, there's like, the, 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 the like guinea pigs of like, because yeah. people, people are going to test the waters and okay, that's wrong. Can't yeah. do that. That's your boundary. Right, we're going to go here. Because that's how it, everything works. That's yeah. how media's always work. You the boundaries are tested. Okay, that's that's where your circle is. And you can't put the regulations that. on for that yeah. and then that's it. Yeah. And it's, it's something has to happen for regulations to be in place anyway, half the time. Yeah. Like until something started happening, like say that promotion of coins, all the YouTubers promoting coins, there was no regulation for that until yeah. it happened. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, it's like, okay, now there's a yeah, regulation. Now, yeah, but it sometimes it takes a while for everything to catch up with yeah. what is going on. Law and is I think, not I a quick moving thing at yeah, all. Which no. is I think that's what you're why. seeing is just that that these things are just that court cases take forever just to be processed uh, to get a date and all the rest of it, let alone for laws to be passed. Yeah. So it, it yeah, was honestly saying. it was the scariest thing, man. Like my my solicitor obviously I have to prepare you for the worst, but he was literally telling me like get your overnight bag ready, like 
read this information. Like if you go to jail, you're going to need this. And I was started reading this information about like, like cause what I did had a maximum prison sentence of 51 weeks is wow. what I thought. Wow. Um, but it actually didn't because crowd like prisons in the United Kingdom were overcrowded. The government have issued an, a, like a new scheme. Whereas if you're like a first time offender and it actually goes to a prison sentence, you already get half sentence. So it would have been 26 weeks anyway before you would have got half sentence for good behaviour or whatever. Yeah. So it would have been a maximum prison sentence for 13 weeks. And then because I took an early yeah. plea, I actually got like 30% like reduction in what I would have had to, whether it's time or prison sentence. So it would have been like eight weeks maximum that I would have gone to jail. But... Mm that was still like a scary way. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So it's like, yeah. It's, yeah. As much as you're from London and you're like, he's a big uh, you're, dude, you're, you're, you're a big yeah, dude. Like, you're like, you're street, street aware. Like, some people are like, you know, like you're street aware, like you're fully from like, 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 yeah. I see, like you're a London boy. So it's like, but you're still not prepared for yeah, you, that. I, mean, dude, you know, I don't know what it's honestly, the experience would be like. Reading it, like they was like, make sure you like memorize numbers of people that you're going to want to put on an approved call list because other, like it can take weeks for like if you don't remember the numbers and you have to ask them to see your phone to get the numbers like they just drag their feet about it and it might be weeks before you're even able to phone anyone or call anyone and I, I honestly I was like the night before I just couldn't sleep I was absolutely crapping my pants and mm. you know I, I fortunately or unfortunately however you want to look at it, I got a fine rather than a prison sentence which I feel like was more deserving you know as you know I said in my videos I didn't set out to do anything wrong. I didn't mean to do what I did wrong. Yeah. I, I, I fully accept the fact that uh, I, I did do what they said I did. I, I didn't mean to and I was misled yeah. f you know, through my business partners on the way through. Um, I didn't think a jail sentence would have been fair on me and it would have absolutely ruined the life of my daughter and my girlfriend because that like they solely rely on my income. Like my girlfriend works for my company I was like more more than losing YouTube because I could deal with losing YouTube. You know, yeah, if YouTube, yeah, yeah. yeah if, if YouTube didn't welcome me back after this, I could, I would, my life would move on. Wouldn't necessarily be an issue. Obviously, I'd be upset. But more than that, like the stress that I put Lauren and Grace, not Grace, she doesn't really understand, but the stress, like I put my family under. She could Lauren probably sense stuff. it though. Oh yeah, she, she could, could probably yeah. still sense it in. Doing... But could you imagine having someone that you love so much? And potentially ruining their life, dude. That's a that's a burden that I wasn't able You'd to give carry. up all the yeah. money for. To not yeah, do I'd that, give up yeah. everything if, as, yeah. long, as long as it yeah, made sure they yeah. 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 I, I, I was thinking, like in my head, like I never thought of like you actually. I remember like talking to you about it, like prior, like only briefly, for thinking like you actually sitting there thinking, oh, like, we could go into jail tomorrow. Yeah, it's exactly. I, I was yeah. thinking that as well. We, there, there must have been a point you were like genuinely thinking I have to, might have to prepare myself for this. The, the only reason why I was and the reason why the, the, my solicitor said to do so was because because this is the first case of its kind in this country. Mm. Don't know how they, they was, what He was like, listen, like the way, I don't no. know. They, they might throw the book at you and try and like, you know, show people this is what happens if, if you don't do what we say you should do. You know, that they was genuinely worried that they would, uh, they would just try and make an example of me and, yeah. and give me the worst possible outcome. Saying that, that, you know, the financial penalty, in spite of what people believe I made off of Foot Galaxy, um, the financial penalty and the cost of the solicitors was like five times more than what I made off of Foot Galaxy. It was like 90, what was it? 90 it was, it was 92,000 for the, yeah, for the... In total, was it? Yeah, it was 8,000 for each of the charges. Yeah. And then like... Um, Legal fees and stuff. Yeah, like 80, 80 or 78,000 or something to the Gambling Commission. And it was one hundred and ten thousand pound in legal fees. Legal fees are like the biggest thing in any in any in any case. Yeah. Wow. And uh, you know, Foot Gal I just I didn't make that much money off Foot Galaxy. Like the the year that it ran for, I, I made uh, something like forty thousand off Foot Galaxy, give or take. And I, I don't even know if that was pre tax or post tax or anything, but um, I definitely didn't make nearly enough money to. And and then f from from people that know me and and from my viewers, and I think this helped a lot. Like. I, I'm a businessman, like I run yeah, yeah. a multi-million pound company before I even got into YouTube through the pub business and the pub industry and stuff. No one in their right mind that knows me would think that I would like completely go against the law and the guidance of the gambling commission suggesting that they'll prosecute me if I don't like yeah. halt the interaction with the website, knowing how much it would cost me in the future to make such in the grand scheme of life, such a small sum of money. Like, it, it's just not logical. Yeah. Like, and, and a lot of people, like, when there's, I explain... There's plenty of easier ways to make money. Yeah, like, if, if I was making 
six figures, seven figures with it. It makes sense. It yeah. would make sense, but I just wasn't making that sort of money. Yeah. Like, it, it, like, it literally wasn't worth it. It wasn't. I, mean, I think, like, like, most YouTubers supported you throughout it, right? Anyway, like, yeah. I, I was, like, most YouTubers know, know you as a person. That's yeah, the thing. A lot, a lot yeah. of people, like, I think like most, all the kind of like negative attention you get from people regarding it, to people who don't know you at yeah, all, yeah, even, that, even yeah. like your own audience, are quite pretty much on your side. You may, and, you may and have that's lost why I said that. Yeah. That's why it was fortunate sure. that this is the way my channel is. Because your I personal have, channel. Yeah, have a, like a little bit more of a connection with that. But the outreach of support from the the YouTubers, you know, yourself, the the guys that I came up through YouTube with, and not even that, like a lot a lot of people that I didn't even know, like I I would consider an acquaintance, reached out and showed support and stuff, and that was like overwhelming for me. You know what yeah. I mean? To know that I had the backing of my colleagues and and the people in the community it, it was big it really helped motivate me to make sure that i knew that i was still going to put out good content for my viewers and, and not let this bring me down yeah and and, and affect my life negatively I, mean, I think i think that all just correlates to you personally though just you as a person like i've known you for like was it almost like five years or six years yeah. and like that, that's me since i was 18. yeah so like i just agree that you're like you're like you're not an old girl. You know what I mean, like, I was 18. I, was, I, like, I used to chill with death anyway. Like, even though I was 18, 19, like, even when we went to New York, I didn't yeah. hang with all the other people. I hung with you, Bates, and Jesse. Like, I hung with people who were older than me because that's why I felt like I, that's where I fit in. Yeah. But I was only so long anyway, and I was like, he's not, not going to do anything wrong on purpose. Like, and, I, and I know that you're, obviously, I know your business background as well. Obviously, you're doing the, the pubs and yeah. stuff. So I've been to your pubs when, yeah. when I first met you and stuff. So I was like, I know, like, you're, in your head, you had the good intentions. It's yeah. just. Things were wrong. Yeah, dude, and that's life. Like that's business, what I said to my viewers. That's business as well. Like, yeah, I say to my viewers like that. Like you, you will categorically fuck up at some point. Yeah, and it's your biggest lesson. Yeah, that's what you're yeah, long you, oh, to take absolutely. from it. Yeah, and I, and I did take a lot from that. Not only because, like, like you say now, like on Twitter, I'm a lot more docile. Like yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, I engage less, and and but for me, as as a dad, as a parent, like you just you have no idea what it is to be a parent and tell your parent and to to ever think that I could jeopardize her life is enough to have me pass up opportunities just make sure just to right, make yeah. sure that I don't On the straight screw up yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you, like would you not see yourself ever trying to like start another company I guess you'd basically if you do it now though but the lesson you've learned is you do it if you make a company now you would make sure that all the logistical things that need to be put in place are put in place for it, irregardless of yeah. you doing them or not yeah oh, yeah I would agree with that I don't, know, I don't know if I'd start something else I like I have as you know like you're an you're ideas, ideas man yeah, yeah. I'm an ideas man like I've, there's so much I want to accomplish in this world, in the social media industry. I'm just scared now. I am genuinely scared. At, at this to point, enter I, make, so like, I guess at this point now, you have to earn the trust back of people. If you start a business, it could probably hit with a lot of negative flack instantly. Yeah, just because yeah. of your past. Yeah. So it, it could also work beneficially for you for you to make a company. One of your new ideas that you could like formulate at some point in the next course of time when you're a bit like everything's more stable, is that you could develop an idea that you knew. It was trustworthy, it was good, and you made sure everything was in place properly. If you did a business that was actually a good business and stood its test of time, then all that respect, you've earned it back, and you'd be like, everyone's going to trust you. You have to, that's almost something you could do to earn yeah. trust back for a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, very, very to make a business that's trustworthy and, and clearly yeah. trustworthy yeah. and very, like, uh, ex explicitly, that's the word I'm trying to look for here, like, just it's see through. Yeah. Like, you, you can yeah, see yeah, everything. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. no like, there's, yeah, yeah, transparent. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, sorry. Yeah, like it's it's so transparent that there's nothing could be hidden behind closed doors here. Yeah, that could be a good move for you. Absolutely, yeah. It's again, like it's as you know, time is one of the biggest constraints in yeah. in doing things in this world. And even with everything that's gone on in the past, I just don't have the time right now to do anything other than focus on YouTube and 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 family life. Really, this is what we touched on on the Cow Podcast is that. So I that's the, my my excuse for everything has always been time, like. For the amount of ideas that I've really formulated over the past six years, or since I've known you, has been a lot of news downloads as well. And it's always the same thing of, oh, I can't have, I haven't got time to do that though. It's been a great idea, but I just haven't got time to do that. So I've got to focus on my current things. And what's happening now, a lot of YouTubers who haven't got this time just have many people. Yeah. See, I can't afford many people because I got a 90,000 pound fine <laughs> yeah. and 110,000 legal so this, fees. This is, like, this is, I was touching on the point of like, how do you feel that now? You may start even because it hasn't really happened in, in your scene. It hasn't really happened in the gaming FIFA scene. But say so, say next year FIFA 18, the YouTuber comes along. He's a gaming FIFA YouTuber, but he has several editors, has always thumbnail makers, has strategists, has everything, has people who have like maybe inside knowledge at EA. You can get stuff early. 
how does it make you feel when you have someone who has like this investment and has 10 people around him helping him become the star or well, there's 10 people work to make it all happen but in the background that you're then competing with him I, I, I would say I, I lost the the desire to see myself as competing with people probably a couple of years ago and I'm now competing with myself I, I, so, 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 so my point will be like you could be negatively affected by say if this person rose to fame it can negatively affect you because he could be starving you of views. So even if you're competitive for yourself and you're trying to improve, this could be a, a factor outside of you that you can't even the, change. The, the content that I produce and the content that the FIFA scene craves, you could have a guy with a billion editors. You would does, matter, yeah, because yours is like the hardcore knowledge, doesn't really matter. Yes, right? it's about you're knowledge right. and, and portraying that knowledge. And there, like, there is entertainment factors, but I've seen it all. Well, yeah. I've seen it all to now, until I haven't seen it all, right? I've seen yeah, it for all sure. to now. And, and everyone that has exceeded the FIFA community has gone on to bigger and better things never within the FIFA community. Yeah. You look at Spencer, you look at Castro, you look at JJ, you look at anyone that's created something from FIFA and then grown past they've that. They've used it to get somewhere they've else. They've used it's it to, yeah, to, to go somewhere else. somewhere else. There's only a certain amount, there's only a certain size audience that are going to want to watch FIFA. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Like, with all due respect, it's mainly going to be men, teenage boys or men. Uh, let's yeah. be real. Whereas if you like expand out to other avenues, like you say, to get to that other level, realistically, it's going to have to be something a bit more wide ranging, like vlogs that anyone could enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Like say, I don't know who had, who, who's done that, you know, Jay. Spencer doing football, like JJ yeah, 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 did yeah, real life stuff. That's something we haven't even, I don't think as YouTubers even spoke about in so long is we used to put view caps. But back in the day we used to talk like, we used to talk about, refer to view caps as, okay, this game has a view cap. You're not going to go past five million views a month on this game. It just, it's impossible. Like, it just won't happen. Not many that people, not but many people. I guess a lot of games have like yeah. exceeded view caps now. So we're like, okay. What yeah, you can, you can exceed view caps by clever, clever marketing, clever content, just being an exceptional It's not something, it's not something like, we even discuss anymore. It's kind, no, of, it's kind of strange in, to think about that. Like, we don't used to discuss it all the time. Yeah, in FIFA in general, I think per video, you you probably go to like a 250k view cap per video, but there are some Something exceptions. It, yeah. You know, AJ gets it's sometimes three quarters yeah. a million. So AA mm. sometimes wow. gets three four hundred thousand, and and the odd video of mine will get three four hundred thousand if it's a specific, very like unique video. Like the, early on in FIFA when squad builder challenges first came to the game, like one of the squad builder challenges was so difficult to achieve, and and at that time foot head foot bin and stuff they didn't have the formulas up immediately, yeah. so people literally kept having to refer to my video constantly. And it got it to a million views. Now that wouldn't happen because of the the websites and stuff. But yeah, I, th I think in FIFA there is there is a view ceiling, and that's why I say to you like, I've seen it all uh, and, until I haven't. And yeah. right now, it doesn't matter how many editors you have. You, if you're yeah, that's, that's if you're true. a gameplay that's guy, you're not really going to get much more than a quarter of a million views a video. I feel like maybe that, that view has probably, probably been even reduced this year. Yeah, it has been because yeah. I feel like the way the game has gone, it's it's now. Focus around the hardcore FIFA players. Yeah, well, I think there's the content, three, anyway. three markets of content creators within FIFA. You have got your genuine clickbait YouTubers. You've got the kind of entertainment guys Casuals, and yeah. a little bit more real life stuff thrown in. You know, people like Jesse, people like Harry, like the, yeah. the few packs here or there or drafts or squad builders, but aren't re don't really care about the game to an extent and do care about Lots YouTube and entertainment like, yeah. and stuff. And then you have the hardcore use like FIFA players like the Bateson yourself yeah. and, and that I, so I feel like it like I get asked all the time how does it feel that this person overtakes you on subs and yeah. this person overtakes you on views and ultimately it doesn't really phase me as, like, as long as I've got a place in, in your the sector, community yeah. I'm okay with that like, like before I was hell bent on being the most viewed FIFA guy and the yeah. most subscribed FIFA guy and now I'm just like listen man if I can keep uh, can constantly improve as long as, up, yeah. as, and as long as I can you know continue to make a living for my family I'll keep doing the best that I can do. And as soon as one of those things changes, that's when either I'll look to change my channel and grow and adapt as a YouTuber, or I'll take a step aside from YouTube and look to a completely yeah. different avenue. Yeah. I think your attitude is like, a lot of people say like when you have a kid, like your attitude actually changes. Like before you're like, I guess when you're, when you, when you haven't got a kid, you're just working, you work on yourself. Like yeah. you focus on yourself, but then, when you have a kid, do you feel like you genuinely, your attitudes have changed? So, okay, everything I'm doing in my life is for said like for a yeah. child. Like you're yeah. working on their future. Absolutely, yeah. And and like coming from a background where I didn't have much money growing yeah, up, yeah. I'd never ever want Grace to experience the things that I experienced where she was embarrassed to 
go out because she doesn't have trousers long enough or yeah. shoes that are big enough or you know it cut like I remember one of the like founding memories for me were, that gave me so much respect for my mum was when I went to like a school party and you know you have like the table of like little drinks and snacks and stuff mm. she literally gave me two pounds in 10 peas and that's all she had and that resonates so much with me because I know how hard it was for her to see me not have enough but also for her to give everything that she had left to the to point it, where yeah. I was in 10 peas from a saving jar just to make sure that I didn't go without. Yeah. And I never want to be on either side of that for me or for Grace. I never want Grace to have to think she's putting me out by just being yeah. someone. Like a burden on you. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I also never want her to ever feel like she's not good enough or doesn't, you know, doesn't have enough. And it's not to say that I'll spoil her to a point where she's like looked down upon because like she's brat, yeah. yeah like like a sport brat or anything but I definitely want her to experience you know she goes to ballet class she goes to this class I want her to experience so that in life because I never was able to and, and not be limited yeah yeah basically yeah, yeah. Yeah. To be able to, if she wants to do things absolutely like, yeah and that then, drives me yeah. more than anything ever like m yeah. money has been my main drive in life yeah, yeah. in general like running the pubs coming through YouTube like if you know you got to make money to, to live money makes the world go around but that changes when you have a kid, man. Like, yeah. all of a sudden, it's not... Like, I would sacrifice everything if it just meant that she had a good upbringing and a, and a happy life. Yeah, like, she is your world. Yeah, yeah, essentially, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you, so would, you just it, want her to have any, all, any and all opportunities. Yeah, it's, have, yeah right? opportunities, yeah. Right. It's not even about, like, act, like physical things. It's yeah. not about toys or and, yeah, computers yeah. or watches mm. or jewellery or anything. It's about having the chance to live and, and lead a uh, yeah, like, happy yeah. life. Yeah, that's it. It's just an interesting thought because I'm just referred to as a dad all the time. So I, thought, <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was an actual dad. How that yeah. works. There you go. Yeah, get, getting a perspective for later. Yeah. Yeah. For but, later. <laughs> well, yeah. But no, genuinely, like deep down, that's all that anyone really wants anyway. Not, not only for each other, but for yourself. It's just, just to be happy. Yeah, just happy. Really. Just, just, yeah. happy just to be happy. Yeah. Straight as up. cliche as it is, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cliche. Yeah, but that's just like the core of existence, isn't it, really? If you think about it like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know, because like in society, is it? Like, I mean, it is, but it isn't. But it's money, just, money does. Huge. Money, money won't bring the... happiness, will it? That's the thing. Yeah, so, yeah. money brings happiness to a to a level. To, to comfortability. Yeah, com yeah. Word, one, once comfortability. you can pay your bills and happiness such. with an expiry date. That's what money brings. Yeah, it just, it just relieves financial stress, which is what a lot yeah. of it doesn't though. It really doesn't. No, yes, yeah. This yeah. Is, I was getting to the point. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so like. Typically, it you're more comfortable in life. The sense of like, you don't you're not worry about your bills. You're not worrying about, but you don't worry about like how many pay mortgage and the electricity and stuff. Because a lot of couples, that's like one of the biggest arguments that couples have, and one of the biggest issues of divorce is just money. Yeah, they have issues with money. They can't pay, and then they have arguments over who's earning what, or they're not spending, or whatever. Mm. And that that's causes stress in the in the household. But then what money does cause is then causes more issues. So yeah. The whole more money, more problems issue is that yeah. you just. You lose those problems, but you think about more problems that occur. I'm trying to think of like good examples of what having more money. Leeches straight away, like, and and not necessarily leeches, but for me, when I started earning a healthy living, and again before YouTube, like yeah. not even with YouTube, um, I then started supporting a lot of my family members financially, and that puts a pressure on you because, like, okay, I'm earning more, but I'm actually I don't have more because I'm not yeah. giving it away. Like I'm giving it to other people that you're need very giving it more person, which we don't think people actually know about you that much. Actually, like from from me from me knowing you for a long time and knowing like a lot of your backstories, you're a very giving person anyway. You're very generous. You've like yeah. you know, that be you're trying to assist people to make YouTube channels, so that be giving people money um, and supporting people behind the scenes. No one knows about it. Same way like Cal came on and said like he supports his mum, but no one no, he doesn't know about that. People don't. don't I openly said every day, like, okay, by the way, I pay for my mum. Yeah, as I say, the same thing about that Craig thing, isn't it? It's not like I start a video, like, hey guys, what's up with the Panthers here? Also, my name's Craig. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's just you not just something you, you don't do. Need yeah, to, yeah. yeah, you don't like, it's, it's not something to brag about. Like, and, and I find but, that people do, that people that do like go out of their way to be like, I do this and I do this, it's like they're trying to satisfy something that's empty. In yeah, like try, trying to garner relationships or friendships with people because of who they want them to think they are rather than who they yeah, actually are. As well. yeah. Like people who have money do that, the whole flex on Instagram or like the flex on Twitter. That's a big thing as well. Like that's just a status thing. That could yeah. also be that you're just a bit empty inside. But so again, that, we, that, that likes and that fulfills that you. That itself brings more problems because if you give the indication you have- A lot of money. Uh, people will come to you out of 
jealousy or out. Yeah, yeah. People, people, people react, like we have that. Like, whether it's, it's some people uh, react positively to us, and they, they like like some parents will come to us and go like, we think that what you do is like really inspiring. You're, like your role model, your good role models for the kids because you're entrepreneurial at a young age and you've made something off your own back. But you also get kids come up to you or adults come up to you and like you earn this much money off of this why like you have, yeah. you have no talent there's no skill what you what you do you don't what like and that whole that whole misconception that youtubers don't work hard yeah it's not even work hard it's, it's the, the whole the whole uh you have no talent thing i say to people hey man deserve. if it's easy yeah, do it go do it yeah go, what, what are you wasting thing, time you're for you're not deserving like? which i like i i feel like i can relate to in the sense of like people say like when nurses or doctors don't earn enough money but it's the same thing as footballers, isn't it? Like YouTube, yeah. same thing as footballers, it's entertainment business. That's, that's money a, yeah, there. it's a byproduct of the life, the world we live in. It's, it's not yeah, my same, fault yeah. that they don't earn money. I would love them to yeah. earn more money. Like it's, it's and, irrelevant. And you to personally how much can't I change. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. how that system works, and you can't. You can help one nurse and maybe help her, like, but you can't help all of them. Yeah, it's just a society thing that you can't change. But and what I'm more problems that money brings. So I start seeing the same as you was given, and then you also get the issue like trust issues of like. You give so much people, you don't think that like sometimes people are there, but knowing you're a giving person. Um, I mean, I've watching you close off that circle now. Yeah, I mean, I, I could, I can easily, I, I know a few people in my life, in my close circle of friends and family that have all of a sudden started asking for more and like not even asking for more, but like you know, I know I'm sure you got someone in your life that you don't really talk to very often, and they might hit you up every once in a while, but now instead of hitting me up to ask how I am or what's going on in life, it's oh, so this thing came up and I really need some money for this. And it's like, listen, every time you've interacted with me in the last two years, it's been asking for something. Mm. Like, but, like that kind of thing, it, it, it wakes you up to someone that you thought was important to you and you thought you was important to in life when actually it shows them for them their real self that yeah. they, they're just using you for what they can get out of you. And it's, it's less hurt, hurtful when it's YouTubers or when it's, acquaintances or yeah. just even you know f through streaming i've had people like like fans that felt their a closeness to me which is usually one-sided right there are obviously a few fans that i've got to know and that i i engage with on a regular basis but there's a lot of fans that i'm sure you have as well that feel they are your friend because yeah. they get that from you and they will message me and be like hey man this this and this has gone wrong i'd really like it if you could support me here and i'm um, it's it's hard to say no but it's like, if you do it for one, yeah, you've got to do it for all. Yeah. But also, yeah. it's a little bit unfair for you to put that on me. Yeah, you're not there, but... I, I don't know, there, but yeah. I literally don't know you. You know what I mean? Like, um, so yeah, there's a... I feel like, of how, what we've got, of like our whole sideband group and stuff, I feel like loads of us end up just, I feel like I just closed off every circle outside of this. Isn't intentionally it? or unintentionally? Unintentionally. So, yeah. like, like, I feel like, all of our old lives are a past distant memory almost. Yeah. Like Lewis is a product of my old life, but he's into new territory. But a lot of my old world is just not lucky there. Lewis. And, to and Toby, and Toby, and Matt. That's like, lucky you, you mean. <laughs> well, she gets to, you get to come through. <laughs> well, no. But now like, you need help. I feel like, I feel like all help. of us like, I don't know, just unintentionally just closed off. Like that's not like JJ and Simon. I don't really think they have, all their friends, all, all, like say, like you're in your like friends and family all the time. YouTubers who are typically on their own, like solo solo YouTubers, they still interact with their normal friends and their normal family. Yeah. Where all of us are like these are now all my closest friends. Yeah. So I don't really like you can you can. There's someone around me who's like trying to leech up, reach up and leech off me because you've already shut that down. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah. In a weird way, unintentionally, it's just happened. Yeah. But that again is a byproduct of the. It, it would be unintentionally, but it would be subconsciously because you, you would rem like you'd know things. Like there are a few YouTubers that I used to do things with back in the day that didn't really take off, and sometimes they they like communicate with you as if you owe them something because yeah. you were a success and they they weren't. And that is very easy then to take that one instance and be like, okay, all the old dudes that I used to talk to, I'm just not going to talk to anymore because that's yeah. all they want from me. But like, I, I, probably, I probably experienced that a lot. Back in like the sniping days, yeah. of, like I didn't just call Jimmy. I feel like a lot of people was like I helped a lot, of, a lot of people out, and then some people like, oh, you didn't help me out, or help, why have you not helped me out? And then I've had people hit me up knowing that I will help people out because I used to brought a lot of people through. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe it's just like subconscious thing, but like I've got like, small beans. 
it's it's, it's yeah, different it's now really anyway. Like yeah. in in terms of bringing people through, like back back then, even when I wasn't really an established YouTuber, I still tried to do my best for other YouTubers and other content creators. Like I started. It was the, a community thing back then. That was yeah. the biggest thing. Do you remember best of the YouTubers? Yeah, 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 yeah. So a who, lot who, of those who was guys. Harry was in it. Gonf was in it. Bateson was in it. Lasty was in it. Uh, Lasty, KGT yeah. legit yeah. HD were in it. Like a lot of the actual big big guys now were involved in that, and you don't get that anymore. Like it's, it's so hard to take someone small and grow them, even if you wanted to, because the, like it's just so set in its ways. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like you said, like uh, before the podcast started, like you have to have something exceptional to grow through now because you can't just, you can show people, you can say, okay, everyone go and watch this dude's video, but they're not going to watch it because they want to watch that dude. They're going to watch it because you asked them to watch that yeah, dude. Yeah. So the next video they don't care about because yeah. you didn't ask them Unless to watch that Unless you're continuously doing it yeah. and you're always in their videos or there's always some kind of like push. Yeah. Or they've seen a lot of that person prior. Yeah. Like, say like for Lewis's example, like if, if yeah, it'd be channel, very easy probably, for him to, work, to yeah. generate viewership. Yeah. Um, because they've already feel an, an attachment there because they've already seen it before. Yeah. They're sub not, just like, sub okay, in the annotation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not like it, the annotation doesn't exist anymore. Do they not? I no, they, they removed them a few a few months ago, I think. Are they actually? Get, get you with the times, bro. Sorry. You'll um, never make it as a YouTuber. Um, you're no, useless. <laughs> I'm not making it as a YouTuber. You've I don't have a channel. Cut. I haven't even got to making a channel. <laughs> I feel like they, I guess, I could against like a lot of the final points here is that like, I guess community has changed, right? So yeah. when we, like, we had, so we had our group called Trains on Skype, much random name. I don't know. I Train Spot has forgotten why it's called oh, Trains. I have no idea. I have no, oh, it might be Stuart Zombies. It might be. Oh, okay, because because of the syndicate trains. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. Not yeah. for that, but yeah, um, zombie trains. Yeah, so like it could be like so we had a, our Skype group, and that was me, you. I'm gonna get someone here, and you have to like try and keep it in your head as well. Me, you, Ali, a, um, okay, JJ, Toby, Tobias, Freezy, Calix, Oaklefish. Is that the Alton? Yeah, Oaklefish. Is that the Alton group? Yeah, yeah. Was, um, Syn- Did I say syndicate already? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I think it was in there, I think. And he is the uh, Spongy guy. Mop Head, aka yeah. Optic Moppy. Yep. Um, there's many more people. Uh, um, Calyx, so if I've not said him. Yeah, you said Calyx. Yeah, you said Lux and Freezy, yeah. Fear Crads. Yeah. Uh, it's like 14, uh, 12, 12 or 14 of us. Yeah. It was like a Skype group and then we went to Orton Towers initially. Like, so that was just a, like a, we got that, that's that like Team UK. Yeah. Go to Orton Towers. And that was like the first like, so it was almost like the beginnings of everything, really, because a lot of that group is still around. And Shout like, out to Oaklefish on that as well, because he's the one that brought me in on that. Or the Orton Towers trip. Yeah. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even know any of you right now. I, I probably wouldn't even be doing YouTube now. That 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 was the defining moment of my didn't career. Si- yeah, aren't you like... This is something that I don't know. Aren't, didn't you push Simon towards doing YouTube anyway? Yeah. At Eurogamer? Yeah. Cause I think Henry Hume said... Like, I've heard that story a lot from Simon of like... People don't know that NEP could be the reason as to why I can do YouTube right now, because... He was like, Simon's always like Jada's cameraman, yeah, so to speak. And Jay, like, Net was like, nah, like, you should do YouTube too. Like, you I, 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 th- I think, I literally think everyone should give it a shot. If, if, if they're passionate enough about something, there's uh, people out there that are also passionate about them. If they can portray that well enough through YouTube or social yeah. media in general, they will garner an audience. If they're fake about it and they just think that they're going to get views and money and stuff, yeah. they're not going to succeed. Maybe one in a yeah. million will succeed from doing it like that. But if you actually care about something, if you actually love a product or a game or an you're idea, knowledgeable about something as and, well. yeah, and you know about it and, and you're interested in it, people will be interested in you. 100%, man. Regardless of how niche dinner. it is, regardless. Yeah. Yeah, the, the more niche, the better, actually. Yeah, the more niche, the better. As I said, like, was it like, you said about the Ants channel, there's a channel about Ants that just does really well. There's, because he's so, he's so knowledgeable. The pilot so, guy. Yeah, the, the flight simulator guy. Yeah. He's like, he was, a, he's a, he was on viral Reddit loads, but he's like, he's a pilot, but he just trolls people in flight simulator and talks properly, like actual pilot okay. language <laughs> people and little kids just get confused to hell. And it's just, their reactions are so good. And he, and the way he does it so good, but because he's so knowledgeable, and his like language, and he knows all about it. Yeah, it's so good. It's just yeah, so it's easy just to watch. Yeah. And then there's like the guy who dives in rivers and finds iPhones and guns. Oh, wow. and like all that, that, that's, stuff. that that's like million views video. That's he just crazy. finds iPhones. He found a gun, handed it to police. Like just yeah. dives into rivers, goes snorkeling, and goes, "Oh look, we found a phone." He's like charismatic. He's knowledgeable about what he's doing. He cleans up the rivers anyway. What, who's that guy? That I, I can't remember his name, but that history guy that I watch, and he's oh, totally he tells you about like battles and like the reality of swords and stuff like that. Um, Lindy, Lindy Beige, yeah, sick guy. I'm a history nerd, and I love watching his his uh, his videos. He goes on about like 
the style the style of fighting or what the swords were probably like because of the way that you would fight and like there's there's a guy that's, that gets proper into it was a math teacher and he started putting like lessons on YouTube for his students but started it was using his methods of explaining it rather than the curriculum's methods yeah. of telling him how to explain it okay and it, it just caught on and lots of people started watching it to the point where he actually quit his job as a math teacher to really? teach math through YouTube Jeez. and it's just brilliant he gets millions of views per video that's awesome and he, that some of them are like extremely long as well so he probably makes like a more Decent generous money, living yeah. than actually as, a, school, as a teacher yeah. Yeah, and he gets yeah. to teach people his way that he knows they will actually engage with rather than sitting there being forced to learn a specific way yeah and that's 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 why i say like you know whether it's simon or whether it was tobias gaming who back at Eurogamer a few years ago i encourage to continue doing youtube because yeah. really, he might have you know like i don't know I've, I've, i feel like i've got a good judge of who i think would be successful based on who and if i would watch them well, or not yeah. and yeah there's there's a lot of people right now that don't do youtube that i think would be successful at doing youtube <laughs> that wall. <laughs> oh, sorry, my finger. That wall's pretty good. <laughs> um, you know, I kind of need him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him get carried away. Interestingly, though, actually, do, so Chris spoke about that. I just want to quickly go on a quick tangent, super quick. Is how do you feel about, okay, then with Grace, that she learns from YouTube? Like, as in math, like, because a lot of educational videos on YouTube throughout across everything. Yeah. I, I, w I would encourage her to. Yeah. She, I mean, she already watches like a lot of things that teach her, like, like even even the silly videos you don't realize like you know those women that sit there and they open those big eggs yeah. and there's toys in the eggs yeah so I, was, I did a lot of research on some of that stuff and this one channel that i she watches just because she enjoys it that i'm happy that she watches the woman specifically puts different color eggs and calls them by the color as she opens them to teach the kids, the kids color, yeah. like color and word association and things like that and it's great because Grace is learning without even understanding that she's being learning. taught. Yeah, that's the that's the, and that's, she's that's enjoying the best time to learn. Yeah, and when, you, when you're engaged, you're learning yeah. most. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, going going forwards, definitely would uh, if it like I would love to get her into YouTube and not as a creator, but as somebody who enjoys the content of YouTube. I'd like to find her own way and find things that she likes because it would help me with her. Like when I was a kid. My dad had to ask me, and same as you, you know, your dad would have to ask you what do you like, and then see if he can do things to Consistent. interact with you. But now the way the social media world is, if Grace is constantly watching something on YouTube, I can just understand what she likes, so then I can help her or or Maybe you can interact with her a lot better yeah. because I know what she wants and yeah. what she likes. Maybe you can understand what she likes more than she can tell you what she yeah. likes. So you can, you can, yeah, you can watch what future. she's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Because as a kid, you don't know. You're just like, yeah. you're like I'm not playing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know I mean, like, like everyone's children. Like, she sings a lot and she dances a lot. She's got yeah. some ballet classes, but I feel like that's every kid. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've, I've, it I've takes a like, while. Yeah, yeah. sort of get ushered yeah. into that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, really take their, they really take their lane until like yeah. a bit older, I guess. But it's just, it's just interesting. So I was thinking, like, they just thought for up, and I was like, that's quite interesting, like, because there's probably a big point at some time soon where the, I mean maybe not but the school curriculum should change yeah oh, I, th I think so yeah it'd be interesting to get a math teacher on here oh don't I've, I've said this so many times <laughs> so many times the curriculum is just does not prepare you for the real world at all I, I think it's a lot better now like there. with my little brother who goes to school um, he, he like he's far more engaged than I ever was in terms of the things that he's learning like what what they taught you in school, you probably don't use generally on a day to day basis now. But what they didn't teach you in school that you wish they taught you in school were things like cooking basic meals, doing your taxes, Mortgage. learning how to wash. Yeah, yeah, like understanding how to start a business and, and run a business, not to in a level of like a business degree, but just generally, you know, just the basic, the basic yeah. general foundations. Yeah, foundations of yeah. the actual important life like duties. I was never taught that in school. Like, no. I, I, you know, you You're like history. Algebra. I don't like history. Yeah. Uh, why, why are you teaching me something I have no interest in? Yeah. Teach me something that's actually going to help me in my life rather than force me to learn something yeah. that the curriculum and tells me I like me I have history, to learn. I'll learn history. Yeah, exactly. You'll go and, you'll <laughs> right. go and learn. Yeah. And now you can. Back, back then, you probably couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, so you probably had to, you'd have to buy a textbook to the library and get textbooks about it and get books about it. And now, if a guy, like a kid or a girl, has an like, interest in like, anything, there Google is a, YouTube, there yeah, is a then, means to learn yeah. and be very knowledgeable about it at any age. And then you go down that rabbit hole and before you know it, you're just 
so drawn by this subject or topic. And, or, and it's probably a lot more organic because you're not being forced into learn. Like yeah. I hated learning about certain things in history, but I loved history. Yeah. But the, in class, you like you have to learn this. You're the wrong. So, yeah, if, the, the if, you're, yeah. if you're allowed yeah. to yeah. to find your own path, that's probably and ha have your own pa build your own passion for it. That's when you're really going to care. That's, and that's, yeah. that's what university kind of is in a way. To an extent, like, yeah. say you did history degree, you yeah. would you would study what you want to study mm. and you would write about what you wanted to write about. Yeah. You just follow a rough core concept of history and how to write about it and see both arguments. And that's what your degree ever is. A university degree typically is you're learning to be a person who understands both sides of the other fence and you can argue from either side and that, that should improve, like your, your, your human skills there yeah. are improved, so to speak. Yeah. That happens in natural life these days anyway. Yeah. But that's what the core concept of I felt uni was. That's what I learned really was the, and public speaking, but YouTube that anyway. Yeah, it may, maybe you, you, you might help my YouTube in, in a way. I don't know. Mm. Who knows? But yeah, ramble. Hey man. But yeah, I feel like a good point to end on. Drink. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything you want to touch on? Any, any like random no, things? No, no. You you put put pressure on me to ask you questions earlier, but I got nothing. <laughs> How did you how did you grow such a luscious beard? <laughs> I'm the one left out here. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, Nips doesn't go up to this point that you've got though. It's you've really got, weird. It, you've like, got this it, bit up here. It's very bitty here. Like I, I have to like completely keep it trimmed here because if I just let it grow, it's just tiny little patches everywhere. Yeah. It's not like a full beard like, like that. Me too. Oh, that, you're just like that everywhere. Yeah, I shaved yeah. it like just before we came on this podcast. <laughs> it wasn't like last week. <laughs> I think it was like, yeah, like, yeah, 10 you know, years ago. You know, one day, right, we're going to get a beard expert on here. Yeah. And we can teach you how to uh, grow a beard if possible. It's not that simple. I don't just, you can't just think, like, uh, rub uh, something on your face. Well, and what he'll say to you is, your genetics are wrong, mate. Sorry. Yeah, I'll bro. Okay, thanks. That, that's it, really. Thanks, Josh. Maybe you could like shave yours off and I'll just like, like PVA glue it to my face or something. True. Yeah. Have you got anything you want to plug at the end? No, man. I was here for you, not for me. Oh. Plug away. Lewis's new something. channel. Um, Check out my new draft I mean, episode. It's really good. I got yeah, this Yeah, I mean, other than my YouTube and social links, which I expect to be in the link below, in the description below. They're not. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm about. No, there are uh, annotations that don't exist yeah. anymore right here. Uh, Lewis is doing it. Doing annotations. My, <laughs> my clothing isn't quite ready yet for the next batch of stuff. So there's nothing, man. When nothing. do you expect that will come out? I don't know, man. Six when weeks. are you hoping? Six weeks? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, should we put this podcast out in six weeks? Six, time? six <laughs> weeks' time, yeah. Six weeks' time, we'll put this out and then it'll be, we'll say, it's out now. Sounds on good. The, on the annotation. <laughs> <laughs> no, th thank you for having me. We, do we have to do that? Do you have to do it on podcast? No, Cheers fuck for off. having me. Like, <laughs> I, I'd love to come back sometime. Would you? No, not really. Oh. Uh, yeah. Do you just think get Nep's mega sarcastic and need to <laughs> understand that just to. It's an English thing. Yeah, just in case British I didn't know that. Sorry, British. I'm I'm a big Sideman fan. You're definitely the best Sideman. Rate that. Sweet. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I've known you longest out of all them. JJ, I think I've known longer. <sighs> really? I've known JJ since he had 5K subs. So have I. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> since he was born. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, uh, yeah. thank you for coming on. Thank uh, you for having anytime, man. I'll, I'll, I'll come back anytime. You sure? No, I actually would. <laughs> if you're ever stuck for a guest, this is a uh, this is this is what I wanted to create with the show. Remember last year when I had I mean, Simon on it. As I well. mean, as a, a certain individual said recently, everyone's doing podcasts. Yeah, he says yeah. I have been trying podcasts for some years, not even uh, incredibly <laughs> recently. But yeah, I I, I enjoy talking. A lot. Your channel is basically <laughs> your channel is basically podcast though. Yeah, like, yeah, it is. Not yeah. It's mini podcast, yeah. but like. Ultimate Team podcast. Ruin, ruin a random, uh, sorry. Not even Ultimate Team sometimes. A lot of it's real, like, real life stuff. Like. Oh, fair enough. But you're like, Ruin a random it's series. The start was just straight right? like, I'm just talking for 25 minutes and I'm playing yeah. a game. <laughs> That's it. That was it, yeah. It was very generic. How? I watched one of my old videos It was interesting. I, used to, they must, I think me and Ethan said that as well. They're always in my favorite videos of yours. Yeah, and that, that boggles Because the most mind. engaging. But I watch them back. I watch the odd one back when it pops up and recommended. I'm like, seriously, how did I get but why, views? But why would you watch it? Like, so that's, that's thing. I'm just like, oh, why is this in recommended? Let no, me see like, what's But you're watching it back, you're not going to find it interesting because it's you. Yeah, I suppose. Well, I am quite interested though, so. So I guess I'm just saying that as everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cool. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you want a future guest, or if you have an idea for a future guest, then let us know in the comments or on Twitter. Uh, and we'll try and hit them up. We are expanding past just YouTubers. We're just starting off this way and we'll find out who we can get on soon. Matt's been a nice spectator at the end, um, but he'll be actually... Uh, He's back in the next one. Getting hopefully. involved in the next one, yeah, hopefully. 
If not, I I am basically co-host now because I have completed one full. Oh yeah, where's the badge? I've completed one we'll full. The badge. Past. The, the, next the, time you come, next time you come over, we'll get your badge. You got, you got a Dr Pepper from me. Do you know how much like for me to give up my own Dr Pepper for him? He knows that he's an addict as well. He was that at some point. Solid. Uh, yeah, flat Dr Pepper is really nice. <laughs> All right, that's All right, great. Nice that's one. a great time to end there. <laughs>